Hello everybody. Hello, hello. Thanks for joining me today. Today is going to be a fun day. For me anyway. Well, gonna... first, can, can you hear us I'm, and can you see us? <laughs> I'm assuming they can. All the bars are going up and down and everything's good. Okay, so. okay. Need some mom and pop time. Well, this <laughs> isn't going to be your normal mom and pop stream. This is uh, assembling a bunch of pieces into a computer stream. Okay, so thank you. Perfect. I may have to turn the monitor just a little bit because I'm getting so a little... So you can see it? Yeah, I literally can not see You want see me to move it. over? Uh, no, no, you're fine. I'm just a New toy, not quite a toy. This is a tool. <laughs> I'm the toy. <laughs> Careful. Careful <laughs> Let's see. So what we got today is a new belt for me. Um, as you know, we do a ton of videos as well as uh, I work on this stuff all the time. It pop is What's always a bit pale, okay, so maybe on. scroll it back a little bit. A little washed out. And I thought he did, but I wasn't sure. So. Hi, Pat. Back in Muskoka. That a little better? Get a little bit more. Yeah, that's probably good. Um. Okay. That's better, but now you're turning the monitor, so <laughs> the mic's over, th over there. Project. 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 <laughs> now I have to project. I have to work and project? This is not fair. Where's the little... Oh, there. She's there. Yeah. She's on the bottom. Okay. That's better. That's better. Perfect. Okay, awesome. Okay. So we just turned down the brightness a little bit. So today we're going to play with <laughs> tools. Yeah, that's not it. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better today, Laura. Oh, happy new year, Laura. You get, you get, you get more pop, man. I'm just going to be sidekick. So we did pick up right Sophie some cute little biscuits from the yeah, they're from the market this morning, though. So I do, I do have some new cookies to share. Hello, Miss Ellie. Hello, Teresa Louise. I think that cookie for Sophie. There you go. <laughs> hello, Pat. It's hello, Sylvia. Day. Hello, Valerie. Hello, Charlotte. Hello, Allison. Hello, Rita. Hello, Katie Crafts. How's everybody doing? So we're just going to empty out the box here. Hello, Jackie. It rained yesterday. Had two birthdays to celebrate. Well, party, party. That's fine. That's a good, no, no, that's a good excuse. It's a party, party. Hello, Shelly Clark. Hello, Sherlock. Oh, we'll give you another cookie. All right. Okay, another couple. <laughs> Everybody's having a good day. So, so what what are you doing here? I guess is well, the. Right now I'm, I'm going to ask you new questions. I'm unboxing. Uh, unboxing. 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 You want a box? I want a box. Want a box? No, box. no boxing. <laughs> um, the CP or the sorry, not the CPU, the motherboard, so that I can have a place to do the initial build. Okay. So, so what kind of motherboard is this? This is whatever this says. Uh, actually, it's a uh, seven. Uh, sorry, 690 Tomahawk Wi-Fi board. It's got all the features that I need to do all of the different things. Not sponsored by, just informing. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. None of this is sponsored. No, equipment. no. It's all just stuff we want to do. So, lots of cool little slots and things to plug things into. And overhead? so we're going to start. Yeah, why don't let's go over the overhead. Do you want me to zoom her in, or you want out, or what's going to make um, it? I kind of gave you the whole table, but I just didn't know what you wanted, so. You can go in a little bit. Okay. Zoom it in? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I can help with that. Look so at me being all useful, folks. Maybe. <laughs> oh, other, other way, dorky. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's better? Okay. Alright, and so I, I, we'll I can move one. over if I'm in your way, so. Hello, Sherry, how you doing? Hello, Joellen. So this is the motherboard we're going to be using, and uh, it's got lots of little slots and things for all the different pieces. So the goal today for me is to assemble this computer so that we can use it. What kind of... Okay. It's neither a gamer or... Well, I guess it could be used as a gamer PC. Uh, it's got enough horsepower to do all of the games as well as all of the... Um, 
uh, sorry, as, all of, as well as all of the content creation stuff we do. So this system basically is going to be doing a large amount of content creation. Hey, Donna. Um, welcome. So that's why we do these things. Welcome, welcome. So this is not a cheap PC, and this is too big. Awesome. What's For this, the this, this screwdriver is too big. Oh. So. Um, hold on. Holding. Uh, Where's your other screwdriver? I was trying to think of where my multi-tool was. I took it with me last weekend, remember? So. I think it's still in my. Is this how you get prepared for a stream? You grab the largest screwdriver you can. Um, okay, hold on. Yes, YouTube is a big game for um, sure. If, uh, okay, hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll be back. So we can't yeah, start please. right at the moment, but uh, <laughs> this is how we how we start off all our streams with complete confusion. So this is the CPU. Good. Afternoon, Lisa, Elisa, or whichever way you say your name, quick good afternoon. Let's see if I can figure out how to get it out of the box. That's the challenge for me. Uh, here. Right tool for the job, right? You know, use whatever you got at hand. So this CPU comes in a waffle case. Looks like a CPU. New PC. I'm I'm excited and not excited all at the same time for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Let's put that out of the way. There's a little. Oh, you can see it in the small screen. And if you can see in here, there's a bunch of little pins that this CPU is going to go on to. So, nice, nice small packaging. This is one of the uh, high-end CPUs for Intel. I'm just going to take this. goes in one way there's little notches on it hey Chris how are you doing what's the hard part done Yeah, great long weekend and everything. It definitely would mean a lot to me if you did the thumbs up. So that's the, um, what is it, 12900K CPU, 12th gen CPU, latest and greatest. So this is going to be replacing our um, editing PC that is about five years old now and it's um, probably in the neighborhood of 40 to 50 percent faster than the other PC so it'll help me get through a bunch of things a lot faster we're going to be putting in some rip jaw memory love the names and uh, we're putting in 128 gigs of memory in it so I'll be able to do all kinds of fun stuff Hey Speedworks. So 
So memory goes in these slots here. And because I'm going to be fully populating, I don't have to be concerned about what slots it goes into. But just goes in, clicks in. It's really easy. I didn't do it, Teresa. I had nothing to do with your cell phone. But you probably need to charge it. Four of these in. Actually, I probably should wait to do the memory at this point, but let's let's see how fun it is to work around. So the main goal right now is to get it up and running and test it to make sure that it works. Of course, it does help if you put it in the right way. Um, anybody can pick up these parts. You can buy most of the parts on, um, um, sorry, on Amazon was where I got most of the parts. Some of it I got from um, another place, but uh, ultimately you can, you can build your own computer. It's really not that hard. It's basically a, uh, Adult Legos is what I like to call it. It is expensive. No matter what you do, it is expensive. So. Sorry, I went on an adventure into the the shed as well. All so kinds of stuff. There is a this Smaller. the head you're looking for. Yeah, in there. Oh, maybe we'll see. So, and then I have my multi tool that I take okay. with me everywhere, okay. and then those guys. Okay, so yeah. hopefully, hopefully one of those will do. Let's see. I think okay. this is too big. I wasn't sure. I just figured nope, I had a chance. It'll work. Yeah, nice. Okay, and then I found this one. I was like, "Oh, he's gonna be so happy." Except it's the wrong type. Well, then I can't help you. <laughs> like, oh, I only got so Adult much. Adult Legos, exactly, Kelly. <sighs> hey, everybody. Oh, and guess who? Guess who? Not? Hello, Nancy. What's your name? Yeah, you do need to understand how the parts go together. For example, the CPU goes in a very specific way, and depending on the type of CPU and things like that. Um, it basically is. Uh, hey, Mr. Speedworks. Howdy. Hello, oh, Trees Louise. The screen is stuck on Samsung Galaxy. Maybe if I take the battery out and put it back in? Uh, can you take it out if it's a Galaxy? I'm not sure if that's possible. I don't know. Base textures I have to run and get some backing fabric. Be right back. Okay. Okay. This is why we're watching you, Pop. <laughs> I'd be using a hammer. Don't use a hammer. <laughs> yeah. Tools of persuasion. Now, with this stuff, it's not really complex. It's just understanding where things go. So as you can see here, I just took off. This is a heat shield here, for... Overhead so you can really see what's going on. This is a heat shield that's going to be used to protect the M.2 drive which is this drive here. This is going to be my boot drive. Hey Tracy Albert. Hey Donna. And this boot drive is... Anybody? Sorry. I don't know, did you? I don't know. Did you miss anybody? Probably. How about 40 people came in? Well, then hi all 40 people. There you go. <laughs> all 40 people. <laughs> so this is a Rocket Cube by Saberant drive. It's a uh, very fast um, NVMe drive. It's a four terabyte? No, this is the two terabyte, I think. So you're reading off a lot of like letters and numbers. What exactly do they mean? Or give me, give me the lowdown, like, like the, the, the I'm not so with it person kind of <laughs> layman's terms. Is that what they call it, layman's terms? Um, Here's the, here's the instruction manual. Oh, here's the instruction manual? Okay, hold on, I'll read that off. Uh, NVMe stands for non-volatile memory. Um, and volatile? Non-volatile memory. Yeah, but is memory every volatile? Absolutely. Oh, okay. <laughs> now you know. And knowing is half the battle. And of course, you have to be able to see what you're doing before you try and plug things in. But this, this drive is just a... 
a little thing that goes in here like this. Do you want me to get my headlamp? Would that help you? No. And then there's a little latch that locks it in place, and that's all there is to it. That's CPU is definitely central processing unit. Mm -hmm. So you can also see that on the back of this is a little thermal pad. You, you have to take the plastics off. You don't take the plastics off, you got no thermal transfer. So we're gonna stick this down on here, back where it was. the other way around. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Which okay. looks better? That looks better. Does it? Yes, it does. Is it that way? Yeah. Okay, let's go with that. <laughs> don't trust me. <laughs> yeah, hey, not, you not your there? average quilting stream today. Nope. It's it's pop a PC unit today. <laughs> it's it's a uh, tech time in the quilt shop with pop. So I've already put the CPU in. This is not a laptop. This will be a tower. The tower's under the desk right now uh, because we're not going to use that until after we boot it up for the very first time. We're going to boot it up here on this box to make sure everything boots. If you put it all into the case, it's a big pain in the butt to try and... Uh, <laughs> Yes, <laughs> thermal transfer is what happens when you bake cookies. It's the same principle. Yeah, pretty much it is. <laughs> I've been binging the last, the first two episodes of The Rings of Power. They are long. Oh, okay. are they? Oh, we haven't even gotten into them. Not, yeah. not time yet. No. And when the winter comes and we, we, we can set that time aside for us, mm -hmm. uh, well, we'll save that. Okay, we'll save those shows for them. Bags. What you need? Is there any bags or anything There's with nothing parts over there? No, nope, no, nope, just the box and this and them's and... Where did the parts go for the uh, CPU cooler? On the other side of the monitor, maybe? Maybe. Nope. No? Okay, I didn't move anything off of here, honey, so... Did you leave them somewhere? Are they in here? No? No, all the mounting stuff's missing. Like all of it, quite literally, there's a bunch of stuff. Uh, did you leave it in the house? Nope, because it came out here with it. Oh. It would have been in the... Where? Oh! No, it would be in the purple box if it's there. That's good. Stream's over, we can't find the most important parts. in here. Yeah. So when you put things away, yep, they're in yeah. here. <laughs> well, you were just packing it in for easeability of movement, or move, exactly. move, movability to where it needed to go. So. Exactly. So lots of cool stuff. Yeah, so the, because this is a very high performing CPU, so this is the case. Looks like this on the back's inside, and this on the other side looks like this. That's where all the guts go. That's where all the computer components go. <laughs> I did a little pre-work on the case to get it into where I wanted it to start with. But we'll bring that back up later. For some reason. There. Yeah, I only have it so deep so the pedal I don't go chasing it. <laughs> Love that bag. It is beautiful. It turned out amazing. I still have to do the top stitch and stuff. I started cleaning up the desk before I realized I wanted to do that first. So, but I really wanted to get it cleaned up for Pop. So. And four screws. We're not using those. During the stream yesterday, I was on hype. I was hyper focused on my project. The stream ended, and I did not get to see the bag. Ah, yeah, it was. It, it's not complete finish. I didn't put a pocket in either, but and I can. It's 
you know there's nothing stopping me the hole's still there i can i can i can i can make a pocket it's not a big deal um but i don't know i just uh i yeah i really like it, it turned out fine so sorry back to the focus 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 on the project people <laughs> Miss Brandy, hand approve. Hello, hello. I watched your Putting computers in a closed-in space is really not good for them. Okay. I'm not sure why you would think that. This is loose. I don't like it. Can you build a computer from 2002? Yes, I can. I can rebuild a computer from 2002, but you're not going to like it. You'd want to just put the purchase in for a new one. A computer? I used to do that years ago. Yeah? Yeah, some are liquid cooled, and some some of them. Well, this turn, is liquid cooled. Uh, turn uh, their t um, towers into aquariums and um, oil filled or something like that. It's weird. That's, yeah, that's, that's an old. That's cool. Idea. I'm not liking how this. So is you're going. making a computer quilt? Nope, we're making a computer. <laughs> seen the aquarium stuff at the electronic store it's pretty interesting I'd be afraid of electri electrifying the fish but then again I guess you got cooked dinner when you got home <laughs> a computer from 2002 is probably not capable of running the same even most of the new apps yeah they require so much memory and and like CPU and, and drive there's a reason why we upgrade so frequently Hello, Nadia welcome welcome Oh, completely so, Journey. Completely. They are so much more powerful than than before. <laughs> yeah, Sophie's there. She's already... Hold on. Where's the Sophie cam? There's the Sophie cam. She's already had her T-R-E-A-T's. <laughs> so she's got two more here. <laughs> but yes, we were outside and we were playing. Let's keep us customer. Well, that's the same with the phones. The same with the cell phones and the latest gaming consoles and everything else, right? No, so, I don't think it's to keep us paying for more money. I think what's happening is is that the computers are progressing and the programs are progressing at such a rate that they're not able to uh, um, they're not able to keep moving. Like the applications are changing and, and, and not moving forward or, and are moving forward, but the equipment, it, from a historical perspective, <coughs> isn't capable of running the same type of loads that these newer computers are. Yep, your phone is as much a computer as anything. Even your now. little watch, your little crazy watches. Gwendy's got one of those little crazy watches. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy watches. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, memory used to be as expensive as the CPU, no doubt. No, not a Fitbit. 
No, <laughs> no, the um, the like Apple the watch. smart watch, yeah, Apple or Watch, Samsung watches, yeah, whatever tells you your phone's ringing, somebody's texting you a message, what the temperature is, what, the, what last time you had a bowel movement, you know, one of those watches. Um, <laughs> Katie, uh, the 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 merch has been pulled for the time being. We're looking at a different provider right now. Yeah. Um, weren't as happy with the result of these. They're really, they're really um, not well printed. So we're going to find another provider for all of our merch and then we'll get it out to everybody after that happens. Still bouncing? No, it's better. Uh, okay, I did, I did pull this out just in case you wanted me to flip it open and stuff. So That's just preparation. Did you want me to... So that was the other side? Well, <laughs> Watches are no, they know things. <laughs> they hear things. <laughs> See, it has it. Your smartphone has more tech than NASA had to send up to send up a rock. Yeah, exactly, right, Jill? No kidding. Hello, Michelle Kelly. Welcome to the stream. I've been thinking of building a Raspberry Pi system. Oh yeah. Yeah, there I go. Ask questions. We, you, we had a few pies. What are you use that for? I got all excited when Pop said a Raspberry Pi was coming, and I thought it was like from some epic company, and I got all, <laughs> didn't I? I got all, I was so waiting. It was, oh, the pie's coming today, and I'm like, Raspberry Pi, like this has got to be some epic pie. No, Raspberry Pi is not what controls Walt. No. Form factors on the circuit board become so tiny they were able to make faster and faster computers. Yep. Shrink. Doing it right, so. Doing it right? Okay. Can I help in any way? Yep. Or I just need to sit here and be the foot somewhat charming. Yep. Mm, useful. All of the above. All the bill. <laughs> I can try. I took the boys on an adventure today. I'm like, let's go. It's 7.30 in the morning. Let's rock. <clears throat> out the door. We were actually out the door by 8, but, you know, they were up. They were up. They got moving. You absolutely can. The Raspberry Pi is a very strong... Yes, yeah, what the CNC um, machine had, wasn't it? A little raspberry pie? Yep. Yep. Okay. Little raspberry pie. But it requires a lot more than just the raspberry pie. Yes, it does. When you go to visit the Air and Space Museum, you think that it is a miracle those people survived being launched at all. No kidding, Kathleen, right? Kathleen Champ, howdy poppin' LL, well with check to kiddos, Pop's building a new PC. Yippee 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 yippee. We wanted to share it. Yeah, share the knowledge. At least Did 70 people are watching. Wanted to, hmm? Did I not put two on here? I don't know. I mess with those at my job, and yes, it would be years for me to develop. I would rather quit without them. <laughs> but it would be a good challenge. It would be that long, you know, but a good challenge. You do a great New York gangster voice. <laughs> and maybe I saw those gangster shows they watched from Law and Order, you know what I mean? It's a bing bing. That's better. Gonna get ya. It's good to see you. That's Couldn't why. pop. Oh, couldn't pop by yesterday? Oh, no, I'm glad you're here today, Mr. Speedworks. Happy to see you. So, yeah, that's the first part of getting... So, what I was doing is there's a back plate. Okay, hold on. Let's go over the shoulder and overhead. There we go. Yeah, back plate, which is this right here? Yeah. Okay, this little... Can you turn to the side so they can actually see? There we go. So they can actually see what it is. Okay. Yeah. That's the back plate. Okay. And it needs to have mounts so that the CPU cooler, which is this full big monster, that's a, that is a, the, your CPU, well, what is normally in your computer as a CPU cooler, right? Right. So, right. 
So this CPU cooler is gonna go on here like this. Okay, we gotta we need to move you over just a or how can I take that other camera move it over? Is yeah, that I'm possible? Push this one. Oh, okay. There we go. Alrighty. So I'm gonna go that way. Like that. Okay. And then the radiator will go into the the top of the case. <laughs> Rita Smith said, I've learned something new. Something today, I'm going to impress my son by talking about Raspberry Pi. <laughs> <laughs> so Raspberry Pis are a small microcomputer. There, there you go. Okay. Just so that you can really impress him. Yeah. I just want to make sure I've got everything that I need before I... Can it help with anything or you just, you nope, just got I'm this just, all on your own? Just checking it out. Make okay. sure that it's all here. Okie dokie. Hello, Suzanne Taylor. What's going on? Happy Sunday. You got us two days in a row. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can purchase Raspberry Pis yep. Yep, in a lot of places. They're, they're e easily accessible. Not sure which camera. Uh, do you want me overhead? Uh, they can't really see what's going on. We've got the, the cooler pretty much in the way. So that would be their best view. Unfortunately, the cooler is going to be in the way, no matter what. Alright. That's true there, so, so true. That'd be interesting. Woo, two days, says my cool project. <laughs> That would be neat. It'd be interesting to see. Hey, a water-cooled system. My hubby has built a few of those. Cool. There we go. Almost. That should take a few hours. So, kind of already got dinner sorted. It's really easy. We're just gonna fry up some ground beef. We got leftover mashed potatoes from last night's dinner. We'll fry those up with some cheese. And uh, add some vegetables, and it'd be p pretty much like a shepherd's pie, but all together on the plate. So. so there we go. I'd love a new PC, but have no money for one. I hear you there, buddy. We had to save up yeah, quite this, a bit for this one. This is not a cheap PC. This is Pop's been putting some money off to the side from his work, and we, we knew we needed it because we were running out of space for all the videos. We have over a thousand videos on YouTube. Over a thousand videos. Mom, Pop, Quilt Shop. So they has to be stored somewhere, right? Can't just leave it to the cloud people. Well, we can, and we might be. <laughs> but. So right now, um, you will have noticed that I just used the thermal pad that's on there. Um, I will need some a wipe and some uh, a rubbing alcohol. Where do we have some? <coughs> Would question. the wipes not work? Be enough? Um, yeah, they're... they're <coughs> or, like, one of the cleaning. Cleaning wipes, yeah. The one, like, I clean the car? From the, no. the chicken? No. no, not the... No, not because they're ones. not... That's not rubbing alcohol. Okay. <coughs> so we, we have some rubbing alcohol, I'm sure. <coughs> well, what did you use for munchkins when you put munchkins together? Well, um, it came with wipes. Oh. But because we're using his... Uh, the remaining of his uh, uh, thermal compound. No more wipes came with it. Okay, then. Um, yeah, that's for sure. Gas uh, is not cheap either. Okay, I'm just trying to figure where they are. Thankfully, I work from home right now, so we don't have as much gas requirements. Yeah, they would be in the house on the. I'm not sure whether or not there's any left, actually. Um, I'm just trying to think of them with the. It wouldn't be rubby alcohol in the middle. That's the thing. And we couldn't take anything liquid, so we didn't buy any. We didn't buy any rubbing alcohol. Yeah, we did. We, we brought it. it. Yeah, it, it came with us. All right, I'll give us a cool looky loo. Okay. Oh. Thank you. No problem. I'll be back. I love these adventures. <laughs> um. So what's going to happen is is, and you don't see it here, but I've got drives. Uh, storage drives in the house. I'm going to set up a RAID server off of my old computer and that will be the um, 
that will become the raid server. Basically the storage storage server for all the videos. What are the computer stats? Um, good question. This the CPU is a twenty nine or sorry, a twelve nine hundred K. Uh, the memory is uh, four uh, four thousand megahertz, uh, one hundred and twenty eight gigs of RAM. The NVMe drive that was put in is a two terabyte NVMe by Saberint. I've also got an SSD that's going to go in for um, fast storage, and then I've also got a twenty terabyte data storage drive here that is going to go in the computer as well so lots of storage lots of memory um, and I and I apologize if I say things like 128 megabytes or something silly like that I'm old I've been doing this a long time just one processor on this board um, the processor is around $900 alone. The memory was about $600. The video card is a AMD video card. And uh, we bought it to try and upgrade my computer, but it just wasn't, it's still not enough horsepower for what we want to do. So, yeah, it's uh, a lot of pieces. So this is this guy is gonna go in here. So this is, as you can tell, it's got a little bit of dust on it. Yeah, the computer as it stands without the video card is six thousand dollars. The video card at the time it was purchased was just over two thousand dollars. Okay, I'm gonna want to put this up higher, so we're gonna have to figure that out before we turn it on. Yeah, not this. This computer is not a cheap uh, system by any stretch of the imagination. There we go. Yes, it is similar cost to an Apple computer, but this computer should dance circles around your average $6,000 um, Apple computer. Um, <laughs> yeah, you getting cleaning it up for cookies and stuff like that is is simple things that might have some value. In my case, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to get any of the, the powder power do you do need to use the cloud um, we use the cloud every day um, all of our communications we do through cloud-based communications so uh, YouTube is a cloud by definition so yeah we use the cloud every day This is our power supply. Well, most computers are still relatively plug and play. Um, if it's not doing what you want it to, then it might be something with the computer itself that needs some attention. Actually, we still do. Hello! So we're having fun with electrical things today.
this bag right now. So every, every computer has a motherboard power supply. Uh, Kathleen, I'm considering that, definitely, as far as cloud backups go. The issue is cost. Found it, I see. I did, after a surge. Don't use the ones on the outside because they have the oils for my hands. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. But there we go. Don't okay. need it right this second. Okay. We'll, we'll do. We... I just don't want to knock it off. It was a hot yeah. adventure. Hot adventure. It was a hot adventure. Aww. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Aww. Poor baby. Hot adventure. Two so far. <laughs> Screwdriver fetching. Amazing. Getting stuff done. But sass too fairly. Absolutely. Because if you can't because if you can't have a sass, you haven't got trouble. So now I need to, in this file, find the one that says CPU. <coughs> yeah, definitely okay. does make a difference getting a new. So these, these drives and this drive, if you have an old spinning disk uh, hard drive in your computer like this, you can tend to replace it with one of these. And if you do replace it with one of these, it will improve the performance. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> she was looking cute, then she wasn't looking cute. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> so this motherboard has two CPU pins, power supply pins, and it, they go over here. Yeah, she's warm outside. That's why this fan is on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you get 15 years out of a computer and it's what you work on and do every day, you're probably doing really well. I get, I've got four years, four and a half years out of this current PC with the video card upgrade up until now. Yeah, because before that was before we started streaming. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It was actually when we we tried to do a stream. We built that PC on stream, actually. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember whether that... No, we, it was a faulty power supply, unfortunately. In the yeah, end. so... <laughs> so here's hoping that that doesn't happen again. As, as soon as I get my medical cleared for Nova Scotia, yes. I've already filed the paperwork. I'm just waiting for it, like everybody else. And then from there, I get get to file for a passport. So that'll be nice. But apparently I heard passports are taking six months, so. Okay, that, that. now we need some stuff for the video card. Well, this one has a plus the speed is slowing down. We'll be taking that soon. The smaller drives are solid state drive, right? Yes, they are. So this is the one that I put in here is called an NVMe drive. You'd have to have it on your board or that you can get cards that have NVMe capabilities. But if you're not going to 
if you're not going to have a board that can support it, it's better to just go with an SSD like this. Well, I think it's like 24 degrees Celsius. So I don't know what it is Fahrenheit, sorry. But 20, at least 24 Celsius, warm. And I've been in and out and puttering all over the place. Yeah, thank you. My knee thanks you. <laughs> it's like, ah! Well, Miss Allison's got beautiful um, VODs on her stitching, hanging out camping with her family and friends, history of the place where she is. It's very, very informative. Al is seen stitching. Al is seen stitching. I think that's what it is. Uh, can you use your D from Ontario to get your passport? Uh, no need to wait. Driver's license? Well, we have our driver's license from here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got our driver's license here. Yes. Okay. Can you, can you type it out just so people can maybe, like, highlight it, copy, paste it and stuff? So, like, because I don't know how to do that over on the computer over there. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm more... You're stuck with my face and not my technology. <laughs> 83 here in Jacksonville. That seems seems to be about it's about the same. About the same ish. I don't think we're too far different there, Elizabeth. Oh, and I know I asked yesterday if you got your package, but the chat went by too darn fast to, to figure out if anybody from the last 12 hour actually got their packages. So I'm gonna need to step away for a minute. Okay, well, I'll, I'll entertain the people. You end up, can you finish this for me? And uh, not a chance. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Backing out. Sorry, tapping out. Got to go. Um, if you want me to finish, <laughs> but I'm happy to entertain them while you're gone for a few moments. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> sure. 68 and breezy. That seems pretty nice. Yeah, perfect weather. I would think so too, there, Kathy. So we're almost ready to power this up. You're in the drive through Oh, well, sorry, Allison. When, when, whenever you get a chance. Or if Miss Ellie's a fan of your channel, maybe she can pop in the link. Can she do that? Miss Ellie can do that, can't she? Uh, she might be able to. She might be able to. If if, if you if you if, I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't want to you know overtax anybody. So there. So you could highlight from the A to the ing, and then copy paste that into YouTube, and her channel will pop up. I'll be back. Okie dokie, Smokey. Don't ask me any questions. <laughs> I got no clue what's going on besides this says gigabyte and there's lots of names and numbers and that's alcohol. <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> oh, I'm back some more. Okay. Thank you, Pat. Big hugs to you. Happy you're here. And, uh, and I know unpacking is just as, is not as fun as packing. That's for sure. You got to put it on. Uh, how are you? Is that a valid question? That is a valid question, and I'm good. I'm good. I've been doing good. I've had lots of visitors here in the quilt shop over the past few months, uh, and Pop is going away, so I'm now I've got to try and catch up on a couple of videos. I have to do two Wednesdays and two Fridays before he leaves next Sunday. So, and he has to edit them. Besides the videos we already need to do, <laughs> so that's going to be a little chaotic this week coming up too. So. And we got our chickens processed. They're in the freezer, so I'm happy about that. All 73 chickens, meat birds that we grew from wee chicks, hours old, to in our freezer. I have to tell you, I feel like we've done, like we've accomplished something in life. We, we grew our own meat. We grew our own meat. Like I feel that's, not a lot of people know how to do that. Now we do. Chicken and dumplings, you betcha. <laughs> I think the she devil said it, but yeah, yesterday was just chicken and dumplings. Chicken and dumplings. <laughs> uh, okay, I think it would, I just sent it out like a week ago or so. so I'm, I'm, like I was trying to figure out what it was. It is something. It really is. How's Marcus doing? He's good. Actually, I took the boys on an adventure this morning. I said, let's go for breakfast. Then we were going to a farmer's market, and then we had to stop by and pick up dog food for Sophie, her dry. I, I, I add wet to her stuff too, right? So uh, I'm not building the computer, Gwenny. Pop just had to zip inside for a second. I'm just here for cheap entertainment. I can't even claim I'm cute. So I'm just going to say cheap entertainment instead of cute, cheap entertainment. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. 
Hmm. But doing good, doing good, doing good. I think I, I really felt uh, when we, uh, more so when we picked them up and they were in the back of the car, and all 73 fit in one load instead of having to truck them two loads. Uh, that's, uh, I don't know, it was just, it was just like, I don't know, life affirming? Is that it? Because we grew it. Like we, we put in the effort. We made sure they were fed and watered and, and looked after the best that we could and loved and, and, and protected. We had electric fence around them and, and Sophie was there too to help. You know what I mean? Like we just, we took the utmost care, utmost care with our food as it was pasture raising throughout the land. And then, you know, to take it all off and to go get it processed. And they were some good looking chickens. I was so proud. I'm like, ooh, that's a hefty baby. Why? Nice. You know, and there was a couple of smaller ones, which we'll do just like for a meal. Um, and I'm excited. I, 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 we bought a rotisserie. It's coming. I can't wait. I can't wait for rotis chicken. Are you kidding me? It's like, bring it on, Donkey Kong. Come on. <laughs> Roast chicken. Thank you. I'm not quite done it yet. That was yesterday's, the last of the Mondo bag number two. Mondo bag number two. It's like Mondo number five. Um, that, and, but I still have to do top stitching. I started cleaning up the desk to prep for Pop's um, a computer stream before I realized I should have finished that. But no, I'll, I'll do it. It's not a big deal. So. Mm -hmm. Well, it works fine now. There's there's one or two issues where you get this little Y-axis a little out of skew, and I'm not quite sure. I fiddled with the screw. I've tightened the knobby. I fiddled and faddled and stuff like that. Sometimes you just kind of have to tap it, and it resets it for some or I don't know. The little sensor doesn't. I think the, sensi the sensor got sensitive in the move. So there we go. Rotist chicken is delicious. My two favorite ways to have chicken is rotist, like rotisserie chicken, or fried chicken. That's those are my two favorites. I don't I don't mind chicken thighs. I don't mind butter chicken. I don't mind chicken tenders for chicken breasts or something like that. Or I'm not a chicken leg man. I do like chicken wings. Chicken wings are my favorite. If it's my go-to at a restaurant, I'll always go for chicken wings if I don't know what else to get off the menu. It's pretty safe with chicken wings. Um, and I'm just a salt and pepper, just deep fried salt and pepper, no batter. Just simple, simple. <clears throat> I, I wasn't hurting it. So there, there's that. So, and it is a food to be grown and processed. So it, it's what you pick up at the grocery store. It's already just prepackaged. So what's up? Uh, she, Kathy Quilts and Crafts says, I admire you, Laura Lynn. I can never hurt an animal at any price. So. Huh. Huh. <clears throat> exactly. Don't eat meat. I wish I could hurt vegetables. Well, vegetables die too, you know, when you cut them and you pull them out of the ground. So, just let you know. You have killed a vegetable. So, <laughs> let's not, let's not go there. <laughs> okay, I remembered I forgot to do something. So did you forget you forgot? You forgot I remember you remembered that I or forgot. you remembered and you forgot? I remembered I forgot. And that was? You still don't have it? What is it? Uh, there's some specific cable. This one here. Exactly so, Journey. Raising your own food is the kindest and healthiest way to go. I love them. I yeah. talked to them every time I went out to go. Did I not? Yeah. Yep, you yep. know, like, and I was saying thank you. Thank you very much and please get fat and... Don't fight and get along and I don't Stop want Stop attacking me. Yeah, don't attack me and, and, and uh, you know, I don't want angry chicken. I want happy chicken. So, you know. Oven roast, that's what I did yesterday. That's what I did for, I roasted the chicken in the morning. So, I'm starving now. <laughs> yeah, having, having those things and doing those things for yourself is important. It is important. I now I know. Now I know. This is something I've now learned in my 50 years on this earth. I had to raise my own meat birds. Yep. I know how to do chickens. I've caught fish. I've trapped animals. No, I was more for, but I, I, I could have eaten the rabbit. I could have eaten the squirrel. I did not. I set them free. 
you know? Like, I've, I've, I've learned a lot, even case. Got them for myself. Things get wild out there, people. <laughs> sure. So I'm just looking at which headers, <laughs> uh, which headers which on the board. So I'm not sure, maybe go here. Oh, hold on. There we go. I agree, Elizabeth. That's why I was fine with having somebody else cross it. You As you can see. Around, darling. Oh. Doesn't, why can't they? Oh, can I'm sorry. It. I thought it was upside down. I'm sorry. Um, as you can see, there's lots of different little pins and headers and things that you need to know about, whether they are. Um, so I'm looking for specific headers to plug this cable into, <coughs> which will drive the, uh, um, the uh, pump for the unit. I just want to make sure I got the right things. We've had we've had wild turkey. It was interesting. It was way different than farm raised and pasture raised turkey. That's what all I have to say. It was for one, it was not as fat, and it definitely had a different taste to it. Not that it was bad. It was just different, right? When you have a wild turkey compared, same as a wild goose as a pig compared to a domestically raised goose. Same with duck, a wild duck as opposed to a domestic domestically raised duck. The, all the domestics are really controlled on what they eat and the and the uh, portion of protein that goes into it really affects the meat. So as we were growing our chickens, we had them on starter food and then grower food. And if they were to go any longer than the six weeks that we did, we would have had to put them on a lower protein, like regular food, not a grower, but just maintain them for like the last week so they don't put on too much and become immobile that they're too heavy for their legs. So it definitely was worth it, Teresa Louise. I have to say it was definitely a learning lesson. Um, I was a lot of ups and downs of anxiety, <laughs> but that's just the way it is when you're trying to grow your own food. Like we're, we put this huge investment out beforehand and have been doing all this to get a product in the end. And they're, they're really good Guys gotta, you chickens. guys got to remember, we didn't actually slaughter them ourselves. Yeah, we didn't slaughter the chickens ourselves. We had we, somebody else do yes, it. Yes, yes. Fraser Farms did it. And they, and they did, did a did fantastic awesome job. job. Yeah, they did an awesome job. So, And I had 37 out of the 73 processed, processed into pieces so we can have like a seasoned chicken in the oven, like a bake in the oven. I don't want to say shake and bake, but I'm going to say a shake and bake. But we don't necessarily use shake and bake. We kind of make our own. Or a fried chicken. Those are my favorites. Like when it comes to the pieced chickens. But, but when it comes to a whole chicken, you know, it's definitely a rotis or a fried. So. Oh, yeah, definitely different flavors. It's because of what they eat, right? So. Raise cows and butcher them. Yeah, well, I'm hoping to get at least part of one of the ones that's been grazing in the backyard here. So in the fall, that would be nice. My chickens were started on starter food, then grower food, and then we and then we moved on to layer food. Yep. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah, and that's and that's how you would do it for uh, layers for sure. Yeah, we'll get egg layers uh, in the in the spring. If not, get pullets in the spring, so they'll be laying right away, and then get a couple more little baby chicks. So we have a like a rotation of about six months or something. So we know that we have when the other ones stop laying we have six months to get them you know now now is the time to look for other birds right at that point so what are you doing now cabling all the bits and bobs uh what working are you doing? on the fan working on the fan so this is a pump okay and it on. pumps okay this is a pump. this unit here is a pump and it pumps the fluid through the radiator I'm making sure that I've got it connected and working. Kind of like a car. Pumps yeah. going through the radiator. Exactly like a car. Huh. I'm trying to remember what these were for. <laughs> Don't ask me. I'm well, not going to uh, be helpful here. <laughs> this is a power cable that needs to be plugged in uh, for the for the pump. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to remember because. 
some of these are not used. It depends on what you're building and how you're building it. Um, just had to help clean them, pull out the pin feathers. Yeah, and I'm fine with that. I can't do the ixnaying of them, but I can pull the feathers out. I can clean them out. I think I can. I just can't do the chopping of the head to kill them. So, um, but I know I can do the others, right? Yeah, we didn't ask for any medicated stuff either there, Donna. Yeah, that was another one. Can I help with anything? I'm looking for the instructions. Oh, is that, is that here at all? What are we doing? What are we looking Might for? be in that uh, little pamphlet. This Organized. is the power supply. There's nothing down here. There's nothing over here. <coughs> oh, sorry. What about behind you, honey? Right there? No. No. And I don't know. What about no? That's the same thing. That's the thing you showed me. Oh, excellent! Excellent, Kathy Quilts and Crafts. Subscribe to Allison's channel, please do. I don't like rabbit. Plus, I'm allergic, but that's to the outside fur, but I don't like the taste of the meat, so. Uh, I did have it a couple times as a kid, and I just, I, I said to my mom, I would rather not eat that. I'll eat whatever it is, even more vegetables, if I just don't I have to eat that. And, but she never told me it was rabbit. I, she just said it was meat, eat it. So, you know, hey, when you're poor, <laughs> you take whatever it is. I love Allison's vlogs too. They're so educational. And because she's a teacher, she comes by that very naturally in the storytelling form of where she is, why it's there, why maybe it became famous or something, or whether why it's named what it is or something. You know what I mean? It's just, it's very, it's lovely and relaxing. So, and it's lovely to see because I feel educated every time I watch one of her vlogs about where she's been. So. I, I, I absolutely love it. It's my quiet time. I'm like, shoo everybody away. I'm just chilling out with Allison. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I thought Miss Helly was going to, or found it, or did find it. I think she said she was on it. But I don't know if it popped up. I'm sorry. I was chatting away. Had frog leg once. It tastes like chicken. Uh, same with fish, yeah. I think we're just about ready for the first power on. Okay, well, let's go over the head. So what are you doing now, Bob? Putting this video card back in. I don't think it was in to begin with. Yes, it was. Was it? Oh, okay. But oh, thanks. it was, because it did say gigabyte. Yeah, it was. Okay, so we need the video. Here. Oh, oh. Oh, there we go. Allison shared it. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and Miss and Miss Helly shared it. Thank you very much, ladies. Love you. Big hugs. You guys are awesome. Yes. I find them very educational, and I learn something every single time. Wonderful. Some good uh, sewing, binge watching. You betcha, Sew Journey. Yep. She's got like five videos out now. Six, five, four, five. I don't, I don't know. There's a few. There's a few. Hey, I got a really easy task for you. You think you can handle it? Uh, uh no. Hold this. Hold that. <laughs> I knew it was going to be something. <laughs> Do you know how tired I am? I'm kidding. Yeah, just if you start to twitch, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Oh, is this electrified? No. <laughs> don't lick it? No, don't lick it. <laughs> oh. Why do you think all that porn out of stuff? It's not that it's going to break it. I just don't want you to lick it. Oh, Jackie M. Pop's putting the PC together. Yeah, this there is... There you go. Thank you, everybody, for helping Miss Allison out. This is adult like, Legos. Uh, adult Legos, you betcha. Yeah, don't lick it, please. Stop it. <laughs> it smells dirty. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, you ready? No. <laughs> Song? It, it, I thought it. I thought it flashed. So I don't know. 
I have three. I think I'm going to go back to my Great Lakes trip journal and photos and create. I hope you do. I hope you do. It's just a keyboard and mouse that I have. Miss Sobeka! What's going on, girlfriend? What are we doing? She you told me not to lick it. How, how can you not at this point in time? When they tell you no. <laughs> Leave my computer alone. <laughs> When they tell you no, don't do it. <laughs> that makes you want to do it. No, just don't do that. <laughs> it makes you want to do it. I can't see where it's supposed to be. tell you no, it just makes you want to. <laughs> you know that moment when you're like, I wonder if this is the right port you're plugging things into? Uh, uh, sure. We'll go with that. Is there an onboard power button on this? Uh... You're just asking like a rhetorical question, right? Yes, you really I'm don't not actually asking expect you. me to answer. Okay, thank God. I'm not asking thank you. Thank goodness. <laughs> Useful as sure. boobies on a bull, baby. <laughs> now we find the power switch button. It's not the lick button, I can tell you that. He tell me no. He tell me no, not lick it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. He said, he already told me not to lick them. It probably hurt. Maybe. It's kind of smooth. Could be rough on the tongue. A rough on the tongue. <laughs> At least we got Sobeka laughing. That's all that matters. Yeah, if, if you guys, you homies in the channel are not a subscriber to the Miss Sobeka channel, you know, go ahead yourself over there and give her old Severoni. And Miss Pat Straw. Hey, oh, Sobeka, I meant to tell you, Pat Straw House got that extra block. Remember when we did that block for our uh, live stream? I gave it to Pat Straw House, so we had that uh, connection. We all had that connection, because she's a huge fan of your channel, and she came to visit me, so she's clearly a fan of my channel, too. And <laughs> <laughs> so I just I, yeah I shared the gray and the red block with her so I have one you have one she has one and whoever you gave yours to has one so I know three of us have it so I know we had a fantastic time I didn't want to let her go actually I really didn't want to let her go and she gave us some beautiful maple syrup and some maple yeah uh, sure mm -hmm. you holding that up what'd you do what'd I do I don't know didn't see the board come on. I didn't see the board come on either. Are you sure the green one's plugged in? I'm sorry, the what one? Extension. Uh, yeah, I was using it for my iron. Unless you did something over here. Because it's from over there. It's by over by the iron. Did you do anything over there? No, I didn't do anything over there. Uh-oh. It's not a bad power supply. It can't be twice in t two streams. Yes, Gwen Miss Gwenny was here too. Miss Gwenny was here too. And we had a fantastic, we had a great Monday night chatting at the table till like 11 p.m. Uh, 10, 10, 10, 30 p.m., something like that. Because, yeah, Miss Gwenny had to run before curfew at her bed and breakfast. And then Pat just walked around the corner and in her little A-liner and went to, went to nappy news. It was awesome. Okay, what are we doing? What 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 can I help with? Not seeing any power come up. Yeah, because we have a um, RV spot on the property for water hookup and electrical outside hookup. Because we did that for Miss Allison Johnson when she came to visit with her husband, they rented an RV and stayed right on the land. So. And then when Pat said, hey, can I come crash at night? I'm like, come on, baby, let's go. It'd be so much fun. What are we doing? Turning it off. It's 
So we have lights. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They need to see the lights, the power. No, they can't see. They gotta go. There we go. And we got some, got some bling bling, baby. Now let the party start. Drop a beat. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. <laughs> and we got partial post. Can't see the monitor because. Uh, can you switch the cameras? I sure can. Sorry, me. Sorry, my bad. We have words on the screen. Oh, I don't know we did. Can... Then they disappeared. Words disappeared. Oh, no signal entering power saving Just mode. Just give me. Okay, it shut off. Oh, it's on. Yee, it works. It has power. I feel like you know when Frankenstein was made. She lives. <laughs> <laughs> no hookups. What? Come on, so Becca, step it up. It's <laughs> I'm, alive. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We actually are in the BIOS. So, this is a good indicator of the fact that everything has started to work. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, stuff over there. Yeah. It's good. So, now we get to put it in the case. Now that we know it's alive. So, now that we've put it all together, we get to take it all apart. Well, almost all. We're going to take the CPU cooler off. We're going to take everything out. And then use the goop off. and the alcohol. That's when the alcohol gets involved, people. Yeah, this is not a vodka situation. <laughs> not a vodka situation. More power. This is crafty simple life. So ready? Give it a second. Give it a second. That didn't have numbers on it before, did it? No, because it just turned from 26 to 27. Okay. It's got a rainbow. Look, it's got a rainbow, people. Hold on, you can't see it's a red rainbow. It's got a rainbow. There we go. So what is that number? Temperature. Temperature, oh. It's, it's increasing, because there's no fan on it, so it's right. increasing so temperature. Right, so it's hot. Wrong type of alcohol. Yeah, no kidding, so back. <laughs> don't we'll be, don't be drinking that. Okay, cool. Cool, nice. Yay, it works. Now what? Now, we disassemble. Disassemble Wait, number nine? No! Five. No! With Johnny five. Johnny five! Nine. Disassemble Johnny five! You just stand there and hold that for me. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> <laughs> five is alive, Cecilia. That was one of the best movies. Oh my gosh, Short Circuit? One of the best movies. We were, we were going over retro movies that Pop and I really enjoyed so Marcus could go on either YouTube or whatever and find, either if it's on Netflix or whatever, to find these movies that we really enjoyed as we were kids, right? So we gave him a list and uh, <laughs> he was like, oh, okay. And I'm like, you didn't get a chance, watch them. You know, I said, well, they were good, some good fun for us. Yeah, a little, little wipe brown, a little bit. I'm sweating. You okay. made me work. I, I made work you harder do something. for you than I work for myself. <laughs> I made you do something. <laughs> well, you do have the AC going on over here, so. <laughs> <laughs> what was the first movie in the list? Um, I don't know. Can I, should I say? I don't know what you told them, so was Meatballs okay. and Porky's <laughs> and Fast Times at Richmond High. <laughs> but those are all fine movies. They're, they're all good movies. They're all good movies and we had some serious laughs with them. So those are the ones. So Porky's, Porky's Revenge, Meatballs, Meatballs 2, and uh, Fast Times at Richmond High. So I, those were the ones I thought he would enjoy. I thought he would find some laughs in it. He's 26 years old. If I can't talk about a movie that was funny to me as a teenager, you know, I don't know, whatever. Okay, we totally get Of course we would. <laughs> yeah, the classics, you know, yeah. Just, just, just some good, fun laughs at what was risque at the time, really. 
when you think about it in regards to, because I think the conversation came up about violence or sexuality in video games. I think that's how it all started. And I said, well, if you go back to when I was a teenager, young teenager, these were the movies that were out and they were considered like borderline X-rated, right? So not that they really, you didn't really see much of all besides maybe a bare bum and a, a boob every now and again, but you know, still, yeah. Oh yeah, we did say Goonies, um, Stand By Me, uh, Gremlins. Oh, Gremlins. We talked about Gremlins for a little bit, uh, you know, because about the, you know, don't feed after midnight and don't get wet and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. I think that came about when I made fries at one o'clock in the morning. I said, it's a good thing we're not Gremlins. So, I know, right, Allison? Allison. I rewatched War Games a couple of days ago. Don't forget all the Mel Brooks movies. Well, there's lots. There's there's so much. And of course the um, uh, Monty Python series. There's all that, which I think he's already watched with us, right? I'm pretty sure he's, he he was watching that when he was in his early teens. She was bored. What? Oh my goodness. Uh, E.T. Another one. Oh, um, Smokey and the Bandit. Smokey and the Bandit 2 or whatever the other one was. There was a few. There was a few, like, really good movies, you know, that I would suggest. So, Revenge of the Nerds, yeah, that was a good one. So. There we go. All good? Yeah, so, as you can see in the small camera. Oh, hold on, hold on. Or the there big camera. Yeah, big camera. At least that's, be useful. That's how the coverage of the thermal paste was. I can't be handsful. handsome. I might as well be useful. <laughs> <laughs> might as well be handy. Yeah, pretty much. So that that's how the thermal paste was on the top of the CPU. So it covered that off pretty good. And that was the, uh, as it came from factory, thermal paste. I didn't wipe it or clean it off because I knew I was going to be taking it apart. Lady in Red, but I'm not sure it was a movie. Well, it's definitely a beautiful song. Uh, Roy Orbison sings it, as well as some other artists. There's actually a few artists that sing Lady in Red. It's a beautiful song, actually. Yeah, there's a few that we were going over. Uh, uh, need a nap? You go and have a nappy nappy. <laughs> Yeah, you guys were, were, were working on the, um, hold on, hold on, the Bargello, the Bargello, very nice, good, good fun, good fun, I did, I did, I did check that out. Yeah, there's lots of really good classic movies that I felt were, not necessarily changed my life, but maybe influenced it in a little way, so, you know, Christy Burge, I think, he probably then too, he, there was a few, there was quite a few people that actually sang later in red. But have a good nap there, Miss Sobek. Uh, sleep well. The, I think the issue is, from a kid's perspective, they don't, they don't understand that this stuff didn't exist. Like videography and cinematography are things that didn't exist when we were growing up. They were just being born. So, ultimately, you know, you you're not, um, you're not getting the same experience from a life. Ex perspective because they're just seeing the results of what was built over time and and now when you go back and look at some of the old stuff it really was foundational mm -hmm. activities yeah. right it was gate opening for that technology when it came to exactly. gremlins alf the alf just the Animatronic. the puppeteer of on on nighttime television right yeah. like oh there's something in there honey no? Oh, okay, sorry, I guess it was a label. Whoa, did you see that? It's like he just made himself a home, throwing stuff around here, garbage under the table. Oh, that's how it goes, right? It's moved in. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, I did catch quite a bit of it. You guys were having a good old time. Okay. So I'm gonna wipe off this I can thing. lurk. I don't want to disrupt your fun sometimes by saying things, so I can lurk. <laughs> Be surprised how many channels I lurk on. Mm. 
About his wife? Oh, really moldy lasagna? That's interesting. That's lovely. Lady. Can't see it. Oh, hold on. Here we go. We'll get it in there. We can. Okay. So what what did you do? You cleaned I'm up the, uh, the, the residue left over from this paste, right? Yeah, I'm cleaning up the old paste that was old on there paste. from from when the CPU cooler what it came with. So what it came with, and we're yeah. going to add new stuff now that it's yeah. going in the case, and we are confirmed that things are working fine. Yep. And we're good to go. Okay. Yep. There we go. Nice and clean. Beautiful. So shiny, copper. We don't want that patina on the copper, do we? No. No, no we don't. <laughs> in camera. Oh, just toss it anywhere. It's like you live here now. Like, Absolutely. come on now. Just toss it's my it. My space now. Oops. <laughs> Thank you. Good <Bow. laughs> Um, thanks very much. Oh, you're welcome. Um, I'm taking it off because when you go to put it in the case, uh, it's easier to do, honestly. You'll see in a minute, there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff that I have to do to get this to go into the case. So the fans need to go in on top of the radiator and the radiator then needs to go in the case and then everything else needs to get put in so if i put the stuff in in, a, in this in the right uh in the right order it'll be easier in the long run kid I'm, I'm assuming she was going to say kids i think so too she wants you to behave she wants you to behave she's talking to me she's talking <laughs> to you that's why i'm taking it out of the case or taking it all apart to put so in the case. you'll you'll notice I'm not taking anything else off. No. So it's got still got the memory in it here. It's still got the CPU in it, and it's still got the M.2 drive in it. I'm not taking those out. We all can't get along. <laughs> so the next step is to make space so I can bring up the big box. Dum dum dum. Overhead. So this case comes with a lot of cool features. It has sound insulating panels for the back and front. You probably want to put it on the other screen. There you go. There. So it's got pan sound insulating panels on the front. It's got a flap that comes open for air um, flow. Uh, and it's got a mesh filter on the top. This is also sound insulated if you don't need the airflow coming out the top, but we do, so it's coming off. It also has one on the front, uh, if you can get it off. And we're also going to take that off because I need the airflow there. Nothing but trouble. Uh, so we can get the. Uh, so we can get this stuff. Uh, hey, Petita. <laughs> into the case. We're going to take the top off as well. Pop, what about those clear cases with light show? Laugh out loud. Um, yeah, I actually yeah, chose. Pop. What about those clear cases with the light shows? I have a, gl a glass case right now, and I'm choosing not to use it because, well, this this <laughs> goes in. No. This goes in our uh, the room right next to our bedroom, and it's fairly bright with the LEDs, so. I don't want to necessarily have um, have a, a, an open-sided case or a, a glass case. Sorry, there's a cable here. Like when it's installed, it sort of gets pushed across the place where the motherboard face goes. So I have to move those things. Uh, 
There's some cables on the back as well that are for the case. Yeah, I mean, if, you, if you're gonna have a light show, then you do that at night anyway, right? So, so these are all the, the front panel cables and connections, the USB connection for the front, USB-C connection, etc. I think honestly cable management's the hardest part of this uh, this job. Yeah, stay safe, Valerie. Just said there's two people RCMP alert on our phone, two people involved in a stabbing. So First thing we're gonna do is put in the motherboard. Did I screw this? I did not. Actually, the first thing I'm gonna do is screw in that drive cage. So there's a drive cage in the front here for the 20 terabyte drive, and it's got some screws that I need to put in. <coughs> and this Fantex case is a really nice case to work in if you've never had the pleasure of working on these types of cases, I recommend it. <laughs> no, this is this is our editing one of our editing systems. How many computers have you built? In my life? Poop load. We did do it as a business when Marcus yeah. was first born. I'm going to say in the neighborhood of... Three, four hundred? At least four to five hundred, I would yeah. think. Yeah. Yep, gaming is a, <laughs> a side hobby. <laughs> So what I've got here is the face plate that goes in the case and it's going to match up with the, uh, the holes in the power supply and we're going to put that in. So I'm just going to turn this out of the way. Slide over Take care bit. Randy, have a good one. It's 100 proof quilter. Something that was different from when we first started doing uh, these case, uh, these builds for computers. These um, thumb screws that came out, I guess they came out about, frequently they were out about 10 years ago. And uh, I remember the first time we got these, I was so impressed because I could actually put a computer together in half the time. Because of the thumb, thumb screws instead because of having to grab a screwdriver screws. all the time. Yeah. yeah. Thumb screws are great. Well, Vicki Lemire's son built her computer. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. It's good when you got kids who know what they're doing. Marcus didn't know what he was doing, so got Pop to build his computer. <laughs> he did know what he was doing. He got Pop to build his computer. Yeah, he didn't know what he was doing. I guess if you think of it that way, he didn't really know what he was doing. <laughs> so now I'm just going to shove this in the back here. We oh. got this entire cable mesh. To fit through. To fit in here. So we put it in. I don't know what you can see in the back there. Hold on. You can see here in the garage. Oh, oh hold on. Nope. All right. Go ahead. I thought that was gonna help. What's up? I know. I this got is that where. Now. Here, I got this. Just gonna shove this cable mess in. Oh, it's the right way up, bro. Mm -hmm. okay. And then you can see here, at the back. It fit right in here. This is it right there. 
that's the power supply in place. I think he was learning. I I was I was only there for half of it. I was there for the like the dry fit, but I wasn't there for it putting in the tower. That was the next night. He watched it. He watched. He helped. He handed me things. He basically um, was trying to understand what was going on. So there was a lot. Because there's a lot to this, right? It's not just um, plug it in and it works. There there is a little bit of finesse that needs to be done. And Sorry. I didn't do that. What did you do? Nothing. Did you try to ta take no. off the front no, clip? No, I did nothing. I saw it. I nothing. So the goal is also to make this look tidy. So we're not going to uh, we're not going to do all the cable management right away. Stop touching my things. That's it on my hand. This is why we don't get nice things. <laughs> yeah, that's why we don't have nice things. Laura is getting a very long nose. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now she's sucking up. <laughs> I love you. I'll go get us a banana chocolate chip little thingy majiggy. Keep us going, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> That's good to know. Okay. Everybody needed to know. Everybody needed to know. <laughs> Darn right. So this case has some pretty cool features on it. It, um, if you look at the back here, it can use a uh, vertical mount for your uh, video card. So you could actually use these slots for your video card as well as the horizontal slots directly into the main board. So it's kind of neat that you can do different uh, functions with this case if you wanted to. If I had a uh, glass panel rather than a solid panel for these, then it might be perhaps what we wanted to do would be uh, put a vertical connection on there. I'm just not happy with how this uh, this is going together. So I'm thinking I'm going to take this apart and do it slightly differently. Um, go into safe mode and then change your password would be the first thing I'd try the other thing would be to try and remember your password So the reason I'm taking this apart is I'm feeling too much movement on the back of the mount here. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is going to put the washers on the back side. See how that fits in the hole. It's closer to flush.
Hello, Janine. I'm sorry we confused you. That was not our intent. We're normally a quilting channel, but today I'm doing something different because it needed to be done and I thought I'd like to share. That's better. As far as passwords go, um, there are password managers out there that you can use, things like Bitwarden uh, for remembering passwords, and then you can use the password generator that's on the tool to create your passwords. And then what I do is, because I have it on my, uh, on my phone as well, I put the, uh, the passwords into my uh, password manager and I can pull them up on my phone if I forget what they are on the computer and then I can get in and I just have to remember one password rather than the 400,000 that I have. My superpower? What is my superpower? Passwords? I hope that's not my superpower. If it is, I'm in trouble. So I'll show you here. I'm just trying to get this in here, but let me take it out for a second. You can see down here, there's little slot um, posts, and those go in the holes that are associated with the board. Uh, here, like that hole there goes on that post. So let's get this in here. Coffee break time? Is that what you <laughs> <laughs> Just nice hair. <laughs> Everybody get your banana chocolate and chip cake. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Break the cable wire. Yeah, that would not happen. <laughs> hello, Janine. Hello. I had to, I had to run in and, and uh, just grab snacks. So, I'm ready. It's right there for you. Uh oh. Right there. Hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Happy Sunday. Happy special stream Sunday with Pop in the tech shop. <laughs> the quilt shop tech spot. <laughs> How's Denmark today there, Miss Helly? What are you doing? Screwing in screws? Yep. The exciting thing. This part's the exciting part because okay. it okay, means... Okay, no worries. It means I get to uh, get it in the case and get it ready to go. Mm-hmm. Well, what, you've had the, the pieces since Thursday, so I'm surprised you, you've, uh, you were wanting to wait for a stream to put it together, so... 
that's good for you. Yeah, yeah I could have put this all together on Thursday. <laughs> yeah, he could have put together. He was so excited to have all the stuff. Was, ah! Like, do you want to do it as a stream? I said, I didn't tell people you had something interesting coming. I think that was on Tuesday. And then even Saturday, I mentioned it again. He's like, yeah, we'll do it on the weekend. It's a long weekend, so tomorrow can be the rest day. Tomorrow's not a rest day. Got a lawn to cut. On. <laughs> and do a video at least, if not two. Yep. So fortunately, I get to go away, or fortunately, whichever is most important. Depends how you look at it. I say unfortunate. You may say fortunate. <laughs> I know it's hard when you run into PC problems trying to find somebody reliable to do it for you. We, we've been there ourselves and therefore decided to do it ourselves. And because Pop was always techie to begin with, it was easy for him to figure out. So, And he did that as a job while I was pregnant for a year and a half, a year, a year, whatever, just after we, or just before we got married, just after we got married or whatever. Yep. Yep. Until Munchkin was born and then it was, he moved on to a new job. That, he knew he, he had to upgrade from that to a newer job that paid more money as he had his family to look after, so. Okay. It's in. Want a little snack break? Snack break? Snack break. Cheers. Fortunately, my mouth is full. <laughs> Cheese it, bud. It's not so good, eh? Mm -hmm. I have to say, I really like that oat flour. I'm liking the texture of it. I like the look of it. I can't wait to actually make a loaf of bread. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, maybe I'll, if it's one of the cooler days this week, I'll maybe I'll try and make it like a, a cinnamon raisin loaf sort of thing so we can slice it up and have breakfast, you know, toast and stuff like that. Yeah. So the thing about being technically illiterate or technically challenged or whatever people think they are is if you can put a cake together in the kitchen, you can do this. There's no nothing special about yeah. this. This does not require any other skills other than knowing where things go. It's no different than building a Lego project or anything else. Hmm. Thanks, Lori, for joining us today. I yeah. hope you have fun binding your quilts. And yes, you can always multitask. <laughs> so don't ever put yourself down because this is not something that uh, that all, anybody can't do. Like you might need help trying to figure out what components you want to purchase based on your budget, but there are websites for that. And what your demand is from your system. That exactly. You want, right? Understanding what you need also is always a, a good thing, but uh, Knowing what you need from your system, knowing what you want to spend, and how you want to put your system together, what you use your system for, those are the hard parts. Those are the things that you need to communicate with somebody who knows what's going on. All the other stuff is just, it's all fluff. It's all relatively easy in comparison. Fluff? We give that away for free on this channel. Do we? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was grief. Grief? Oh, that too. <laughs> so, get rid of this. Okay. It's like he's moved in. Where it goes. I've seen her do it, so I know it's supposed to go there. <laughs> Not boxes. I don't put boxes under there. I shove fabric under there. <laughs> Just want to make sure I got the right stuff out. Yes, I do. We're not ready for this yet because we still have to build the fans in the fan tray. I'm your fan. Not quite the same thing. I'm your biggest fan. Hold on, let me go get a piece of board. <laughs> so the fans can go on in multiple different mechanisms. Jeffrey Quilter says, someone needs to market, build your own computer kits like full Legos, like fake, full Lego-like schematics. <laughs> um, I think they exist. I can't remember where I saw them. Oh yeah? Because there is a lot 
uh, hold on, Kelly A. Except there is also a lot of tech ease to learn that can be intimidating to some folks, yet yeah, myself included in there. Pop, headers, raid servers, Raspberry Pi, can you say Greek? Laugh out loud. <laughs> She's so, yeah. so it's about knowledge is what you're saying. If I said headers, headers are just things that you plug things into. It's real simple. It's just gaining that knowledge. Raid server is not relevant when you're building a PC. So it's relevant when you're raiding. If you're playing WoW or something, <laughs> yes, it might be important. Or a big epic game, you got a battle with big homies, and you got like 40 people taking on a big dungeon lord, and you got to yeah. make sure, and then you got to roll your number so you don't get a bad number, you get the loot. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> RNG. Headers. Cars. Laugh out loud. <laughs> At the end of the day, yeah, headers are, it's the same principle though. Like the radiator, car. you know, the, Here's the, a radiator. the CPU radiator, right? Same principle. So this is actually going to go on here. And I have to decide. I think it's going to go this way. Just tell me how I can help you, if I can um, help you at all. Yeah, it's going to go this way. So there's two things that have to happen. We have to put the... Those are just two terms I've heard you throw out today, Pop, said Kelly A. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. They're yeah. terms that I've, I've used. The Raspberry Pi is just, as I said, a small computer. Literally. Disappointing when it shows up with being no Pi. <laughs> so think about what you guys talk about all the time and being an outsider coming into the quilting space. Oh yeah, like, like Pop was when we first started. He's like, he's like, what? What did you say in that video? Jelly what roll. When mean? do I get a jelly roll? Yeah, like, like quite literally, I was looking for a jelly roll. Or send a bun. A bun. No. Uh. No. What was it? Layer cake. Layer cake. Yeah, that's what it was. He was. He was. Because you kept mentioning this layer cake. Where's this cake? I'm like, no, it's the fabric. The cut of fabric. It's ten inch square by ten inch. So why don't they just call it a 10 inch by 10 inch square cut of fabric? I said because someone had to give it a name, so we called it food stuff like layer cake, like. You know? So what, the acronyms and the all the different terms and things like that are the same across oh. every oh. platform. It doesn't matter whether you're talking about quilting, you're talking about computers. If you want to participate in it, you have to, um, you have to basically come up with what it is and figure out what all the terminology is. That's why everybody can't do everything because we've made it in life we've made life so complex it's hard to figure out what the next step is right it's like folk, folks knowing what a fat quarter yeah that's exactly it. you're like why are you calling that like and why normally fat is a derogatory yeah term. a derogatory word so not a lot of people think as a fat quarter as something exciting. Or positive. <laughs> or positive. So. Or fat, you know what I mean? Like, so yeah, that was So is to... a fat quarter like part of a hind quarter? I, it's the fatty part. That's of all the hind I know. Quarter? <laughs> and Miss Dishi Devil sent me a box of her heirloom family quilts for me to quilt up and I can't wait. I haven't opened the box yet. It's been in the in the dining room because we were so busy with the chickens i just didn't want to get lost or anything whatever anything just till i was ready for it and calm down enough to deal with it so we'll be chatting on uh tuesday about her box and how she wants me to deal with it i love fat healthy fat is <laughs> that is yeah <laughs> like avocados and fish and <laughs> Yep, I've been to Joanne's for the backing and scored two ninety nine a yard, and the fourth yard was an inch short, so I got it as a remnant price. Nice score. And I think that's that's the key, Sherry, is that we can we can say that it's hard to do these things, but we learned quilting. So if we could learn quilting, we can learn this. This is easy. HST 
seam allowance, quarter, half inch. HST you know? sounds like a tax to me. It does. HST, half, half square triangle, right? Like HST, it totally does. Harmonized like sales tax is what it is <laughs> in Canada. <laughs> Silver cam. She was trying to catch a fly. I could hear her. There's the star of the show. Jelly roll, yes, please. I Don't like one. Don't you know? Yeah, cinnamon jelly roll. No. <laughs> Strawberry jelly roll. Strawberry. Or so, raspberry. so the other night we went and as we were going to go pick up pick up the chickens, right? Was it? Yeah, because we stopped at the market. There's a market along the way to where we got their chickens processed, and so we picked up some uh, fresh raised. Uh, local ground beef, some breakfast sausage, which we had this morning, which were delicious. I yesterday really enjoyed morning. them. Uh, what was it? Bacon? It was yesterday. We had the sausage. Oh, yesterday. we had the yeah, sausage yesterday. That's right. We went up for breakfast this morning. So, uh, bacon, uh, maple sausage is really good. A dollar a sausage because there, there's only eight in the package. Eight, 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 eight dollars something. It wasn't too much, but. Uh, but they were good and they were homemade and they had fresh ingredients. So that's what I liked about them. We're going to have the ground beef tonight with the mashed potatoes. Uh, they had a few other things. I had a little oat cake. I like oats. And that's where we got the oat flour from too. That's right. I made the thing yesterday. Um, and that's why I ended up making the oat uh, chocolate Don't worry, chip she's banana. getting old. She forgets a lot. I do. I do. <laughs> but too. it was a cute little market. So uh, anyways, we grabbed some jam because we were out of strawberry jam. We love strawberry jam. And pop had a, a small one in his hand only a 250 milliliter and i said oh for only two dollars more you get double the amount over here unfortunately i pointed to a jar that happened to be strawberry rhubarb and he grabbed the jar i pointed to i was just pointing to in reference to the area but anyways mm -hmm. he doesn't like rhubarb so we went back this morning to see if we can get a strawberry one and they were closed. It was like, ah. So we found another market and we did get some strawberry jam. So, and got some golden plums mm -hmm. and some, what else did we get? Uh, some blue, no, not corn. Blue, uh, corn, yeah, corn that I had to shuck myself and some cauliflower, no, not cauliflower, broccoli. And what else we got? Uh, peaches. I asked Marcus to grab some peaches. Yep. Yeah, I, I, when I first started listening to quilters and watching quilting shows and things like that to try and understand, because I've been in tech for a long time. So for me to understand what's happening with it, with quilters was an experience. You guys have a language that is confusing to start with and then throw on top of it expectations of how things are supposed to be done and it becomes even more interesting. You have a language of your own. Beep, beep, boop, boop, bop, bop. Yeah, something like that. Beep, beep. <laughs> beep, beep. Bop, bop. Which sometimes makes it a challenge to communicate <laughs> for other people. I, I talk, oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, I talked to the people at my, at my office about quilting and about all the different things that we do with the channel and stuff like that. And I try and use some of the terms and information and they're always confused. So it's always fun. So if you're putting a radiator on and you have a loose panel like this, don't tighten everything up all the way because you might need to slide it around to or get it to fit properly. Fit properly, yeah, for sure. Just kind of get it in there. Just oh, oh, are, is it cookie time? Hold on, somebody can. Oh, hold on, hold on. There we go. There we go. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> we picked those up at the market for her today. Peanut butter. Homemade, homemade peanut butter. She didn't like it at first. She kind of put it down and then she picked it up afterwards. So I brought some out here for her today. Yeah, it's kind of fun, isn't it? Trying to learn a new set of language. It, it ultimately is a new language. <laughs> Short two screws. It's always cookie time. Exactly, Lisa. Exactly. I grew up with quilters, but never heard 
them use all these quilty terms. So I'm learning. I think it's recently come about because people want it to be short, firm, formed, and stuff like that. So. Well, I think it also came about from a marketing perspective. Yeah, true, true. It's like, easier to say, quarter. oh, it's a fat quarter. Or it's a jelly roll or whatever. And and people relate to those those concepts, those terms, because they're, um, they're food. Yeah, and exactly like, like she devil said the, laugh, the, the quilt police aren't fun i always told myself to have fun and i did and that's really what it's all about it really is what it's all about oh that sits on top there oh interesting yeah ultimately it'll slide in and be hooked in but i want to make sure all the cables come down and <laughs> the debt quilter debt free quilter says that i suppose i speak three languages english quilting and minion <laughs> <laughs> heather, heather g can confirm with that too she's got minions too yeah she, she, she speaks minion as well i speak laura lynn hey a that's not a language <laughs> yeah. Here, there's a happy butt there's a happy butt sophie happy butt she likes her cookie sophie happy butt Come here, come here, come here. Yeah, 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 don't be, don't be, don't be. It's okay. I know it's Sophie's show. Oh, I didn't realize you were Heather Gray. Oh, okay, well, now you're just making me confused. <laughs> well, at least you got it right. Now, now I know who he is. I thought you was new. I'm fluent in sarcasm and gibberish, <laughs> says Tracy Albert. Moda was very smart to market their products with baked good titles. Definitely, Miss Allison Johnson. Because we all can relate to food. It doesn't mean it was a good thing. I think in some ways having those food kind of concepts be so prevalent throughout the, uh, the industry, it it reduces the influx of new product because you have to now come up with a food-based word. For it to be catchy. For it to be catchy. Yeah. So that it fits within the current model. So just my two cents because I like giving my two cents. So Heather G says, I started a channel of my own a couple weeks ago. Very nice, very nice. All right, well. I, I haven't seen any of your videos, so I, I, I you know, be, would be awesome to see for sure. Do, do you have anything out? Yo, Patty G. Yo. <laughs> Patty G in the house. She speaks street slang. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go overhead for a second. Okay. Uh. <laughs> so now we're back to the same point where we were. This time I'm actually going to use a different product on the, the CPU. It's uh, NH or NT H2 H2 um, thermal paste. It's just a product like the other stuff that comes in a tube that is not pre-applied, obviously. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. And can you see how much is in there? Is there any way uh, to tell how much is in there? No? There's not a lot in here. Not a lot in there. So that's the product. I'll check it later. All the, all my phones are in the house, or my phone is in the house, so I, I didn't want it out here disturbing. So, and I think Pop, yours is in the house too, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So we're just gonna put that on there. So this stuff will just spread out across the CPU. That's probably a little more than what I needed, but. What will? Do you want to wipe some away? No. Okay. Because it will just make a mess. Okay. Hello, June. How you doing? See what I'm doing? 
Can I help? Can you see for me? Uh, well, that's, would, would you like me to go with the headlamp? I asked that twice now. No. We good? Awesome. Awesome. We're good here today. Took the boys on an adventure this morning. Took them out for breakfast and then took them to the market and then took them to go get Sophie's dog food and then we came so home. I think Marcus took you for breakfast. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah, Marcus took us for breakfast actually. I was, was well, I drove. Let's just say he put that one. But Marcus bought. He snuck, he snuck while I was into the loo. He snuck a bait. He's mm. learned that trick from me because I've done that many times. I go, oh, excuse me, I gotta go into potty, take my phone with me, and then I pay. <laughs> yeah, so it was good. It was good fun. Took my little adventure. <laughs> Being fiddly. Let's see if I can yeah. just tell them the name. Oh, oh, um, oh, okay. There we go. Okay. <laughs> She's channeling. Lisa's channeling sass. See, LL, I'd have to poke pop and go zzzz. <laughs> Fry him just a little bit. Give him that perm he's always wanted. Because if it's just a curly beard. Well, thankfully it's not plugged in, so it won't have any effect trying to shock me. dinner tonight or what did you have for dinner tonight because some of you have already eaten so well, what's on the plan because like I said we're having leftover mashed potatoes and we're going to use some of that new ground beef that we got from that local market and I'll just going to add some mixed vegetables like some frozen mixed vegetables to it that's it so make it like a little hamburger mash hash sort of thing fry it all up with some cheese sounds good to me and then we got some steaks for tomorrow night, which is a holiday. It's a long weekend here. It's called Labor Day. We're going to have a barbecue. Bum, bum. Make a chicken and rice. Nice. Very nice. No idea was go, uh, good to figure out. <laughs> I, was going to, I was going, I was doing good to figure out lunch. There we go. <laughs> Ground meat mixture with noodles. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds good, Miss Valerie. What time is supper? Uh, in about two and a half hours, three hours from now, or really when the stream is done. <laughs> but in that time zone, if it's done before I'm actually that. ahead of what I plan to be. Oh, are you? Scheduled okay. Yeah, yeah, we're only we've been off for two hours, honey. Yeah. Two hours and seven. So. I see that. And there's been a lot of chit chat and me running around like you know a blue butt baboon, but you know. Okay. Well, you had practice, right? I did. I had one other PC that I built before. I think this. chicken nuggets and sweet chili sauce, maybe some rice. That sounds good there, Shelly. Barbecue up some steaks, potatoes, and salad. That's what we're having tomorrow. We, have, we picked some corn. I shopped it right there at the market because you're allowed to. Uh, so I picked it. We're having corn, potatoes, and steaks tomorrow night for dinner as Labor Day. Uh, it'll probably be an early, early because we may just have to do like a brunch, lunch, uh, breakfast sort of thing make a few things. We got uh, some bacon, Tony's Tony's bacon. We've never tried Tony's bacon before. Um, Looks like. Uh, yeah, that's not happening, Linda Lindsay. I like to stay married to my man. Uh, 30 years. <laughs> Going strong, oh, yeah. A divot here. Yeah, I know, honey. <laughs> Do you feel my pain? Now he's like, oh, well, this is happening. We got to change that. <laughs> well, I've said that before already. <laughs> Sure don't want to move it doesn't because it's the groove in the cardboard so what i want to do is move that carpet from there over here so it doesn't do that no i think what we need to do is something slightly different no all right chachi 
Hubby is in quarantine, so he gets what he gets right now. <laughs> Get to go to work for labor. Oh no, Sherry. We're making pulled pork for tomorrow. That sounds good. I, uh, I had for dinner bread with peanut butter and apple water and some wine. Oh, okay, that sounds pretty good. Well, except for the peanut butter, but I can understand. Maybe some cashew, not cashew, um, sesame. Sesame, I've had sesame butter and I've had uh, sunflower butter. So I, I can relate to that. Can we move the camera slightly for the overhead? For the uh, so that it's pointing here? Uh, yeah, just just give me a second. Can you put here. it back on the other one? Or? Here, you finish this and get it out of my way. Yes, boss. Right, no, just... There's a chocolate chip on there too. Don't you leave that chocolate chip. Done. I just don't want any critter coming in and grabbing it because it's only one chip. Okay, you're gonna have to scooter that way just a smidgey witch. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I don't know how, how's that? But you're gonna have to move over. No, I just got comfortable. I'm not moving it again. Here, let me move you. No. <laughs> okay, then hold on. <laughs> I don't know if I could turn. You good? Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, all right, there you go. I'm going inside for a moment. You're good? Do you need water? Okay, I thought so. Okay, going to over, over, do you want over now? Um, no, just move it closer. So now we're going to recable this, and of course, because I put it in a different way, it's going to be harder, of course, right? It's got to be difficult. So rather than make my life difficult, we're going to take the memory out, at least these two sticks. What I'm trying to do is get these cables in the side here. And you remember I said, I don't remember what this is for. Well, this is, this is for connecting these together. So you put all of the fans for the unit together. Wrong cables like this and then you have a thing and the thing works now all, all I have to do is plug in the actual power and it will power the whole thing for now we're going to stick that through here oops that came up Sirloin steak, baked potatoes, and mushrooms. That's tomorrow, I think, for us. I'm looking forward to it. So if I wanted to be really bad, I could leave all the cables hanging around. Because I'm going to have a hard-sided case. If I wanted to be really tidy, I would clean it up. Which I'm going to do. I might not do it on screen because it's probably going to take me an hour just to bundle cables and tidy things up. Maybe half hour. We'll see. But all this stuff that's hanging around, because it's going to be just hanging here, I will want to clean it up somehow, get it, you know, routed down here, zap strap properly, and that takes a lot of time. So, we'll see what we do. <laughs> Sherry, if your computer's still working, then there's no point in changing it if it does what you need it to do. That's all I can say. Because 
I don't believe in planned obsolescence as much as some of the companies that are out there do. The reason that we're upgrading today is because I need something that has a little bit more horsepower, makes things faster for us to get content edited, and uh, ultimately gets the content out to you guys faster. I'm trying to turn this so you guys can see what I mean by cable mess. So as you can see, this big lump of cables all needs to get routed and cleaned up. Obviously it needs to get connected too. That would be a very important part. This is what it looks like in the front, if you couldn't see it before. So that's what we're looking at, and these cables all here need to be cleaned up. Which I will do. It is. That's, that's why we're going to clean it up. But we need to connect it first because, you know, if we don't plug it in, nothing's going to work, so. And that's this part now. It's getting everything plugged in to the right places. So, you can either see something or see nothing and probably be good if I showed you something. That's why you came here to watch, right? That's good. I mean, <clears throat> the key is to find a computer that fits your need. I don't expect anybody in our channel to have a computer that's like this unless they do what we do. Unless they do what I do, which is a lot of content creation, video games when I'm bored, um, as well as I'm starting to work on some other things that will require having a bigger and more powerful system. So debt free quilter, what video editing software are you using? Your IT team works for you. So Laura, just remember that that's what they're there. That's what I do every day. So I have a team of people that are servicing our IT customers. Fortunately for the industry, um, most uh, IT firms don't do their own PC building anymore. Those were the days. Okay, so Debt Free Quilter, if you have a PC or a Mac, you want to look for a product called DaVinci Resolve what we use. We use the studio version, but it is the premier 
video, one of the premier video editing softwares on the market today. And then there's a ton of YouTube videos for doing, learning about it. And this goes for anybody who's making uh, content. There's a free version of Resolve and there's a paid version of Resolve. Uh, paid version gives you some different features, but you probably won't use them until you're a little bit bigger. But it's the best. It allows you to change video, con like the, the gradients in the color, all kinds of things. It's called DaVinci Resolve by Blackmagic Design. In fact, the camera that you're seeing in the, the streaming hardware that we use is all by Blackmagic. So we highly recommend their products. I've had some challenging times, but um, learning, learning their product line um, over Adobe has improved my editing speed. Uh, probably 50 to 60 percent. I will say that it is a learning, there is a learning curve for it. But what is the I name of it again, Pop? Is uh, this Kelly A? Yeah, it's, I apologize. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. I apologize. Oh, it's sorry. products DaVinci Resolve. Ow, oh, my arm is killing me. <laughs> like I said, there's a ton of YouTube content on different way different ways to uh, to use it to edit content and I highly recommend it thank you craft to simple life that's exactly it thank you so much and it's cheap too it's a one-time purchase if you want to buy the studio version it's only 280 260 I, 280 I don't bucks know. I know you got it um, that's all I knew it was necessary so. well we got it with the cameras because we're using black magic cameras the 4k cameras So what <coughs> this device is that I just put in was the um, uh, SSD. So this is going to be a data drive for me. It's a four terabyte drive. So it'll probably be. <laughs> how, to, how, how to irritate your wife 101. <laughs> And our next class. One oh one. It's just one. <laughs> There's not we doesn't need to be the hundred first way. It's just the first way. I don't know your way. <laughs> no, that's I, I know, that was the joke. That's not it. I it's a college course, one oh one I got it. Do you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well I didn't get it because I didn't go to college not in that degree. So I did go to nursing school for three years. And if you need help, reach out. <coughs> I'm more than happy to help you with uh, editing stuff for yeah, there you uh, go. send pop a, a message info at we so it goes and it for anybody in our channel i'm more than yeah, happy to help in, yeah exactly anybody in our channel anybody who wants a little help with the computers or um uh, just pimping me out now uh, totally and kathleen actually asked I, I, I just scanned over her message real quick but it, it was in regards to maybe you could help her with her pc that she's got going on so oh i uh, missed that no no it's she sent me the message she oh, okay. yeah she said she sent me a private message it's long. That's why I just like kind of just skimmed and okay. so I'll, I'll read it we more can, in detail. We can arrange a conversation. Yeah, exactly. We can arrange a conversation. That's kind of what I was going with. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Tim Hawkins, things you don't say to your wife. <laughs> well, you can. It just determines the length of marriage. Craft a Simple Life says, uh, the free version of DaVinci is far more advanced than most will need. Yep. I haven't had the brain power to fully explore it myself, so. It, it absolutely is. Um, that being said, the better the quality of your content, the more people will want to yes, watch it. Yes, please do. Uh, Heather G, also known as the Debt Free Quilter. <laughs> Hubby asking, when you assembled your first computer, he says his first was 1981. He's about to assemble another new one. We live, we live with this language in our house, and he thinks I know more than I do. <laughs> yeah. um, you absorb. You absorb. 
I was a teenager when I did my first one. But I don't think it was quite that long ago. No, because you were only nine in 81. So, 15, I think you said 15 Yeah, probably years. when I was 15. Yeah, so not too long after hubby there, Miss Gwenny. But obviously, he, hubby was an adult at the time, and Pop was just a teeny bopper. So, but still the interest is there. Uh, Monkey Mary, hello from Arkansas. I love your bag that you made. So pretty, oh, thank you. Thank I you very much. I didn't make a bag. Yeah, Pop didn't make a bag. <laughs> I asked for a bag, didn't get it. Actually, Miss Gwenny, uh, Pop said he liked your bag. So now I need to figure out some masculine fabrics and how to turn it a little bit more on the masculine scale, that professional bag that you have. Because I think you would like to use that for your carry-on bag, wouldn't you? For flight back and forth, since you got to go to Toronto every three months. So, China, Hamilton. So, that port? I don't know where that port is. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to have to end up ordering it. So, I, I'll have to go back through the video to figure out who what, who made it. Now, because I can't remember, unless somebody could remind me, that would be awesome. Because now i got to go order the pattern. And now I'm going to have to, like, man it up. <laughs> Whatever that is. I don't know. Did you ever find your bear paw, the knife free motion for you? Do you know where it's it is? in the, the closet. closet? The closet? I'd like to show yours and uh, a creative thimble. Thank you, Tracy Albert, your sweetheart. She's on it, man. She's on it. So I'm just getting everything pushed up through here. Or no. No. no? Well, that's what I mean, and like men's fabrics. And but do I want a nest? Do I want a, a like a whole piece fabric? Like we go sh shopping for fabrics that he's just gonna like, or do I piece something together and make it out of that? Like, do I make it like? I want to make it so he's gonna use it, not make it that I want it. You know what I mean? I need to make it for him, not for <laughs> me, right? It's like, focus, focus, Laura Lynn, focus. <laughs> not making it for you. <laughs> You know those days when you're not paying attention? Well, I don't know. Is that today? Is that today one of them days? <laughs> so, there's a post that's right here. Oh. There's a cable that is now routed this way around the post. Detour. <laughs> Camel or pine tree pattern? Sign would be cool from it. Pop says no. <laughs> He'd have to pick his own. He'd just have to go pick his own. But Kathleen says OLL use vinyl slash faux leather would be great. Mm -hmm. So if we can find something like that. There actually is hides that we can buy locally from the native people. And I think that would be interesting to put that as the outside, as a, a real hide of an animal that they've had to, you know, that they process for their own life, right? So, buffalo check. Buffalo check. Oh, you mean like checkered, but the, like the buffalo checkered pattern? Is that what you think in there, Suzanne? Well, I do have that tan pleather. Like it's the faux suede kind of leather pleather sort of thing. I do have that. I made many things in it. The Christmas uh, basket holder thingamabobs. I was actually thinking about making my neighbor a couple of uh, log haulers because he's chopped up a bunch of wood and I thought it'd be nice if I kind of designed it nice so he could stack some logs in it with little handles on the side and take it into the house. So it'd be like a little log hauler. Uh, yeah, buffalo checker, which is black and white, and then the one that's mix of gray, and it's like a checkered pattern. I'll show pa uh, Pop it, and then we'll see if he likes it. But we'll just end up making sure that he picks his fabric for sure. Sorry, Pop, I couldn't help but focus on the quilted bag as I can't understand the mechanics of the computer, says Mary Monkey. <laughs> Monkey Mary, sorry. I have a friend who built a computer with see-through case. He had all kinds of lights inside. Yeah, but it ends up lighting up the whole place. That's kind of... Has anyone pressed... Oh, hold on, Gwenny. Has anyone pressed iron on interfacing to pleather? Does it take or melt? Oh, that's interesting. I don't know. 
Something to test. Yeah, something to test. Mine's a little thicker and it's got like this weave on the back. And I didn't order it, it just came, I was lucky enough to score that with a bunch of other stuff that Pop got as an auction. And uh, let me tell you, I'm still using the white broadcloth fabric. I still have lots of the black micropolar fleece fabric. I've done skate curtains with that, capes with it, backs of quilts with it, uh, the, the quilt on her bed, the Halloween quilt is, has the back to it. I mean, like, so much for that. And then I have that, that pleather, which I've used for many, many a things, let me tell you. I got it, so I try and use it. I don't try to buy new stuff if I don't have to. I try to use what I have, so. I have interfaced on faux leather, a Weber, faux leather, and it works. If not high heat or press for a long, or it does not score. Oh, or it does not score. Okay, okay, that's a good idea. Thank, thanks for the tip there, Tracy Albert. Yes, it also has different sizes, squares, and different colors. Oh, okay. Guess you could quilt pleather for interfacing. Uh, would be a nice finish anyway. Yeah, yeah, we'll give it a bit of stiffer stifferness to it for sure. Maybe not craft a simple life, not with that, but maybe you would want to stabilize the lining to be able to compete with the thickness of the outside pleather part. So that's if he wants a tan, you know, like other than that, we'll have to, to order something. But there is some hides that we can get. I've seen it on Facebook, a local place that does hides, dyed hides and, and treated hides and stuff like that. So. Did you say you went to nursing school? Yes, I did. I did for three years. In fact, I was offered a scholarship, wasn't I? And Pop didn't know about that till many, many years later. I didn't tell him about I was offered a scholarship. So. No, because I would have kicked her butt. Yeah. Things, things happened and life changed, and I didn't want that getting in the way of Pop's career. So it was stand back and ride the pony. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite the right phrasing. Well, whatever. It was just go for the ride of life. And uh, we were there for pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do have a medical degree. Shh, don't tell people. Then they want me to, like, fix them and stuff. And I can't fix nobody unless it's crazy glue or duct tape. <laughs> Things you didn't know about me, hmm? <laughs> Well, that's exactly it. It has actually helped me on many occasions help a friend diagnose uh, early onset heart attack, uh, which uh, she was extremely grateful for when she got to the hospital and they said, I, you're, I can't believe you arrived when you did. Your friend saved your life. So uh, that, uh, a few other things, you know, you know, a bit of triage here and a little, uh, you know, crazy glue and staples here, whatever you got to do to stop the bleeding. Somebody had to take care of me. So. You did, I, 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 see, things, things I keep secret from people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I almost tried duct tape on you after you took my head. <laughs> Tuck tape me together. Just to my arm, because it hurt. <laughs> no, it's not wasted. It's not wasted. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, my friend, my friend sent me flowers, flowers for six months and chocolates and like made sure my breakfast was bought once a week at the little local Jess's cafe because and that was for you her husband it was like her daughter did one thing her husband did another and then she did another just to say thank you for saving her life <laughs> I'm like you guys are spoiling me I don't need this it's okay you know that's what a neighbor should do that's what friends do for each other <laughs> so yep. So I'm just routing cables into the board now. Do you want overhead? You can, but I don't. It's going to see. Well, they can, they can see. I'll think your hands in the box. And never, no, exactly. Never stop learning. Never ever stop learning. I guess they really can't see. Okay. Cause she was she called me and she says i don't feel so well because we were supposed to have tea after crossing guard i'm like do you want me to stop by before crossing guard are you like you're okay and she goes no 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 just still or said do you want me not to stop by for tea i think that's what it was 
And she said, no, no, still, still come by. I'm, maybe, I'm hoping I'll feel better by the time Crossing Guard's gone because it'd be like an hour and a little bit by that time that she texted me. So I'm like, okay. So I still trucked up there over to her house and went for tea. And then I looked at her and I'm like, you don't look very good. And she goes, no, I've had some aches here and pains there and this there and this that. And I'm like, uh, that doesn't sound good. I think you should go to the hospital. She goes, do you think we should call 911? I'm like, no, no, I think we should just get you to the hospital. She goes, should I drive? I'm like, maybe not. Let me, let me take you. <laughs> let's get in the car and let's go. Let's put these in travel mugs and we'll just head on over to the hospital. <laughs> so that's what we did. I was kind of, I was worried, but it wasn't like, I didn't know if my instinct was correct. So I just, it's one of those moments where I thought, oh, hindsight, 2020. Like, this was the hindsight of the 2020. So just take her, and if it became nothing, then it was nothing. But if it was something and then I left her, then that would have been horrible, right? So. <laughs> you got you to gotta do, you got to look after your homies, you know? And I hadn't seen her in a little while, but I, and I knew just something just by her actions and like just grabbing the teacups from the cupboard and the milk from the, sh the fridge it was just like something was not quite right i'm like let's uh let's just put her on i got nothing going on right now you got nothing going on let's just head to the hospital <laughs> so. okay, no, I get this to go. it's arguing oh wow craft a simple life amazing Oh, of course, of course. You know, your friends really care about you, right? And and that's what I was like. My heart was pounding like crazy. And I'm like, don't show panic because I'm, my face is a book, and I know this, and it's it bothers the heck out kind of me of sometimes. Book. A bad book, <laughs> a very express book. <laughs> so it was kind of like, can I am I hiding this enough from her? But I think she was so focused on her own discomfort and things that were going on, and what I was saying that maybe we should do this. Maybe you should just. Uh, Let's grab your phone and your wallet and let's just take you and let's just, uh, let's, not that I was trying to pass her off or anything, but I just wanted her to make sure that she was okay, right? She's my friend. She's been my friend for, for many a year at that point in time. How's it going? What you, what, what you doing? Putting in steps? Yeah. Got it. So there's really tight tolerances in this corner here. An open book. But she keeps, it's an open book with secrets. <laughs> well, gotta keep something, you know. Oh, well, thank you, Monkey Mary. I appreciate that. Hi, Sophie, one cookie? I got another cookie for you. I got some cookie for you, little Lofi. <laughs> No more, though. She's had like five of those peanut butter cookies today, and I hope they don't upset her tummy. <laughs> Secret passages, exactly. Exactly. Which just never came up in conversation, I don't think, you know? <laughs> Is that not how all women are talking? <laughs> I don't understand the question. Oh, thank you, Kathy. That's nice for you. She is. She's looking for attention. But I gave her a cookie. Oh, okay. Bye, June. You got to go. Okay, have a good one. Take care. Hi, come on. Come on. Say hi. No. You got no more. You got no more. You've eaten so many. You're not starving. Got to receive room for your din din. Oh, is that now? <laughs> yep. It's only 4.30. Well, we're getting the RAM out again because I forgot to put a cable in, so. Uh-oh. What will? No big deal. One thing about you, I noticed that you have a big heart, a rare trait, says Monkey Mary. Oh, thank you very much. Pop has encouraged that in me very much so. So I'm happy he, he never tried to squish that on me being a giver. You know, when you don't come from much, Sometimes you think, oh, I'm just whatever is mine, I'm just gonna keep. But sometimes it's it's nice to give and share what you have, so everybody is you know plenished, and then you can kind of keep on going. It I don't know, back. April. You tell me. It comes back. Is that how all women are like? 
And are you brave enough in your statement to make sure that it's every woman that's out there has secrets? It's always fun when you can't see what you're doing. Once again, want me to go get the headlight? <laughs> no, it's, I'm not even looking in the case. Okay, but I can... And I just I got can, it. Okay. It's, I'm doing it by feel. Have a great day. See you all later, Mom. Pop cold chops. It's Teresa Louise. I quilt too. Big hugs to you, sweetheart. Big hugs. So I'm going to route this around over to here. There we go. Mm, DC Devil. Totally agree. LL. Awesome. See? Someone's on my side. Huh? 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 Well, there's always a first. <laughs> what? <laughs> a first? <laughs> Sometimes even a second. Uh, Heather says, I'm not an open book with secrets. Good luck on getting something out of me that I don't want to share. <laughs> well, pry it out of you. <laughs> I found that those who have the least by worldly material standards are often the ones who are the most giving. You're, I, the, yeah, I, uh, I don't know. My mom was a giver. She didn't have two pennies to rub together. She had like buttons and lint in her pocket, but she was always a giver. I think a lot of the times the people that have the most to give don't give in the altruistic manner that those that ha don't have the money to give try to give in. So there's a slight, there, a lot of people are just doing things for the sake of doing things. You didn't push the button. It's not changing. Alright, well then don't worry about me. Okay. It's not changing. I gotcha. It's just going me no matter what. <laughs> like my mom was a single parent raising four kids, you know, by herself. Dad was AWOL. Seriously, nothing but a sperm donor. So, you know, and macaroni and cheese was a regular. We Bologna was a regular. Spam was a regular. You know, she's working minimum wage managing a flower shop. And I, and I helped whenever I could. I used to go to work with her and water plants and sweep and dust and, you know, and she would give me candies. And then there was a time where she would give me money. And then when I got my motorbike with a uh, flat attachment where I could carry, and a basket that I made up from the freezer, freezer basket from, <laughs> uh, that I carried flowers and delivered flowers. See that a little bit I don't bit know better. why it's not working anymore. Why did they go uh, the app probably crashed oh. on the laptop. Okay, I think we're all right, dude. Right. Sorry. <clears throat> Careful, bro. <laughs> Can't just break. <brave. laughs> I don't have secrets, I just forget to tell, says Miss Ellie. <laughs> That's funny. It's not a secret if, if it uh, is something somebody else knows. So. I can take the drive tray out. Okay. Because I forgot to add the drive to it. Oh, it's not that I forgot, I just didn't do it yet. Yeah, I think, I think my mom knew you got to throw back out there to get it back in some way. And she had many loving clients from the flower shop that we were invited to their wedding. Uh, we were invited to, like, birthday parties. And so I would be the, the kid that tagged along. There was, there was many uh, a weddings. I cleaned up tables and because she asked, for, you know, hey, come with me to this wedding. And by the way, you might have to help clean up. I'm like, all right, you know, willing to help her, right? So, yeah, unfortunately, it could be to your detriment there, Laura. <laughs> she says, I'm like you, Laura Lynn. Whatever I feel shows all over my face. Yeah, yeah. Especially at, like, family reunions and dinner parties that you haven't seen people in a while and they ask you questions or you have a reaction to what they say. Sometimes you need to, like, calm yourself down. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> <It's kind of laughs> 
That's it. Focus. You're here for the turkey. That's it. Turkey and gravy. <laughs> Don't care about nothing else going on. Just dark and gray. <laughs> focus, focus, focus. Can you open? And pie. Uh, hold on. Yes, I can't because I can find the right scissors. Yeah. Putting everything into the case takes longer. There you go. Than actually building it on the desk. This is a 20 terabyte drive. One of the bigger drives on the market today. I have learned only to say something when it's important enough to me. And th yeah, those are battles you have to choose within yourself too. Cause sometimes it's so easy to add a quip response or whatever and not really realize maybe the implications or the ramifications of those words coming out of your mouth in regards to that situation or comment, right? And that's where I'm, I really have to like stop and check because I'm, you know, verbal diarrhea three quarters of the time of my life. So I really have to like think about what I'm going to say before I react to something like that because I know it's put me in the poop pile and into the kid's bin, you know, I'm sitting at the kid's table many a time. <laughs> my mouth <laughs> yeah I got no poker face either no poker face nope 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 no. and I've got myself in trouble many times and it's not that I I didn't mean to say it that way or I didn't mean it in regards to that but my face betrayed what I was saying and it, what I was saying and what my face said were two like two different things and people were reading them and combining them and then it just all like poop hits the fan and I'm like that's not what I meant you know or I meant it but not that bad <laughs> you know <laughs> it's I hard meant it, but not that bad yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey that's another way awesome. I didn't mean to express my face that way yeah, I don't, I don't like it. It does get me into trouble. Like now. <laughs> it's beautifully sunny out today. We're supposed to get rain tomorrow, though. Rain tomorrow. Okay. Last night and the night before were the, the chilliest. And we're supposed to stay in, like, the teens for the next few nights, for the next, like, two weeks. So... Sometimes I like uh, facial expressions more than verbal. Well, it, it, you can't, you can control your verbal. You can't control your facial. It's a reaction. It's an emotional, physical reaction. As soon as you hear the words and your response to it, your, your face changes no matter what. Your action changes. Your, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I meant it, but not the way it came out of my mouth. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. uh, but if people know you, LL, says Miss Helly, they would know you mean uh, things right, all of here. Yeah, well, I, I tried. No, it, I tried. my face didn't mean anything. <laughs> I was just giving her a face for the sake of doing it because I can. Yeah. <laughs> I would never tell my wife to shut up. No, he never has. Well, maybe not in such a, a way, but it's like, hush up, woman, <laughs> or zip it. <laughs> Is there any way you could stop talking? Yeah, we have that too. <laughs> yeah. I probably know the answer, but what is Marcus up to today? What is he up to today? I don't know. We came back from our adventure and had lunch, and I don't know. what it, He just said, have a good stream. I'm like, okay. I don't know what he's up to. He's in the basement doing his thing. He did find a new game he was having fun playing. Did he say that last night? He said that last night? So maybe he's doing that. I have to work on a poker face. <laughs> I'm watching the stream. Oh, oh, there we go. There's your answer. There's Munchkin right there while playing my game. Okay, okay. What was the game that you were, 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 got a, were getting, uh, were so interested in yesterday that was uh, you were having a lot of fun with? Since we're talking about techie computer stuff and so on and so forth. So, hello, hello, Mr. Marcus Ver Baron Von Blatt. Welcome, welcome. We had a good, we had a good adventure this morning, didn't we? 
Marcus had Eggs Benedict for breakfast and a tea. Pop had, what did you have? Uh, eye opener? No. Yeah, eye opener. Over easy with wheat and bacon. And I had the breakfast sandwich with a side of sausage. So I can share the sausage with Sophie. <laughs> Because I always, I always give her sausage when we come back from breakfast. So always, 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 hands down, every single time, bacon or sausage, but mostly sausage. So that way she knows when I go out for breakfast, I bring her home a little something, something, and she loves me that much more. <laughs> I'm trying to get my eight-year-old minion to realize the "shut up" is a bad word, and we say "be quiet" instead. Yeah. Shush. I don't know that shut up is a bad word. I don't I don't think that it's a bad word. I think it's just not the right word. Shut the door. Shut the window. Sh you know. Shut your mouth. Uh, I don't know. I can see the shot in the shot, but then when it comes to shut your mouth and sh or you know or shut your face or you know shut up, it, it, that does seem really harsh. Well, I think it's rude. I don't yeah, necessarily it's, it's like think a it's a slap. bad word. I think there's words that we should be teaching our young ones. Uh, shut your pie hole. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. I like that one. I'll use that later. <laughs> um, I think there's a lot of words that we infer are bad words but they shouldn't necessarily it depends yeah like you said it's used out of context yeah and it's not a bad it's just too harsh or abrupt like it's just yeah. so you know like in your face slap. yeah exactly in your face not like boxer style or nothing you know that's coming you know No stifle your Edith over there with mom and pop. What? No stifle your Edith over there with mom and pop. What does that mean, Janine? What does that mean, Janine? It, it can be rude. Yeah, it definitely can be rude, Monkey. Yeah, definitely. It generally means that you think you have authority over somebody else. Yeah, which nobody does over anybody so yeah I think that it's a lesson of appropriateness yeah inappropriate yeah, yeah. It's just a I agree it's more that he uses it in a way that isn't quite appropriate makes it harder when he's autistic yeah absolutely yeah yep yep autism is one of those things that it's a slippery slope yep yep definitely and they don't understand why. Yeah, and that's the hard part. And it's hard to get them to understand why when their brain just doesn't work that way. It, it just does not work that way. And you have to understand it doesn't work that way. And that's sometimes harder for us to deal with than it is for them to deal with. I've, I've dealt with ADHD, autism, a few kids here and there being a crossing guard. And they, some would, you know, right up in my face, want to ask me a thousand questions, want to cross with me, want to do my job with me, want to take over my job. <laughs> you know, there's, there was lots, there was lots. And some that just wanted to stand away, and, but wanted to watch continuously for my whole time. I had kids that would, that's what they wanted to do was watch me. So after school, they would literally watch me till the end of day, all the buses left and they left. And, and then I'm like, I'm going. So they left too. Like, that's only when I left. One should always consider their audience. Exactly. But sometimes you can't predict, right? It's a line that Archie Bunker used on his wife in an old sitcom, says Janine. Oh, okay. What, shut up? Uh, I'd have to go back and scan to see what it was. No, I, I'm sorry, I forgot. My mind has gone elsewhere. Shelly Clark says, I think it's okay when you say it means wow or no way. Like in response, like shut up. Yeah. Response to someone saying something surprising. Yeah, yeah. Shut your pie holes, says Allison. 
You like, first. Shut the front door, you know, <laughs> like. Thanks, I think I'll pass. No. I remember that line, never really liked the show, though. Oh, never liked the show? I don't think I really watched Archie Bunker. Maybe one or two. I, it wasn't a, a, a staple in our house of entertainment, so I don't know why, whether Mom just didn't like it or what. It's not like I had I control of the TV. I would say it probably was not... My mom's cup of tea, just the way she was? No, yeah. I would say yeah. it was not your mom's thing. Yeah. He was a little offensive. A little? Yes. <laughs> uh, nowadays, he'd be like... No, even then. Yeah, even well... Then. Yeah. He was on the rough cusp. side yeah, cusp. of uh, of humor. Okay, that I need the SATA cable, which I think is so bad. Oh, do you need this, this here, honey? Oop. No, it's right here. Never mind. Nothing went thunk. Just the two thousand dollar video card. No nothing. Video. Nothing went thunk. <laughs> the card. So right now he's trying to connect the cable into the back of the Samsung what? SSD. SSD. And SSD stands for? Uh, solid state drive. Solid state drive. So I, I didn't know this was a quiz show. I'm just help, I'm helping the peeps. Anybody have any questions? Questions to ask Bob? Yeah, that's cool. We're almost, well, three, um, almost three hours in to this PC bill. It's gone by very fast, I think. I hope I hope it has been to other people. It's I, actually not as... Uh, today that back. show would be not so PC. <laughs> no, it would never have played there, Allison. No, no. They got away with a lot of stuff, and yet we get away with a lot of stuff here in regards to nudity, swear words, graphic violence, so on and so forth. That was very politically incorrect and morally incorrect in some of those cases in regards to some of those shows. So yeah, it's it's a balance. It's they they found a balance along the line. So or did they? Or did they? Yeah, exactly. Or have they just traded one thing for another thing? That that's that's what pretty much what I was kind of getting at. Yeah. I used to laugh so hard, but I grew up, found out how inappropriate he really was. Yeah, well, me, my mom too. I didn't realize how racist some of the comments my mom made when I was a kid, and I didn't, I didn't realize they were racist. I really didn't. Yeah. You know, and until People. someone said afterwards, like I'd make a joke. Okay, uh, and I mean no offense to anybody here, so please don't take it as offense. But Friday, she used to say Fly Day. It'd be Chinese Air Force Day, Friday. So that's what she would joke about being Friday. But I, I didn't think anything else of it, right? You know, like it was just mum being funny on Friday, you know, because, uh, you know, they, their accent is, they couldn't say the word, the F-L-Y or for F-R-I for Friday. So I laughed about that for years until I said it in front of somebody and the look on their face, it was horrified. And then I just kind of realized the ramifications and what I had said really actually quite offended them because they had Asian heritage. And I didn't mean to offend anybody, of course, right? So. Yeah, there's. But it's what you grow up with and you think it's okay because it was funny then. So you think it's gonna be funny now and it wasn't very funny. So I never ever said that again until today. You're such a racist. I'm sorry. Unsubscribe. <laughs> that's that's the cancel culture. So yeah. we, we will check to see how many people unsubscribed yeah. after this. Oops. Just because. Lorland's mo. <laughs> yeah. Like, but quite honestly, I we as a culture have changed to the point where everything is too negative. It doesn't matter whether you're what your intent is. If the word come out came or came out incorrectly, we decide that we're just going to cancel you. And I'm sorry, but I I have problems with it. 
I don't agree with a lot of the things that are said, but yeah, at the same time, at the same time, we're all people. As long as we're communicating properly, if you are not, if you say you are not, I don't understand that. So you're saying that because I say I'm not racist, I am racist? So that's an interesting take on life. We are a nation of people that loves to get offended in Denmark. It is way too much. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's just Denmark, no. <laughs> quite honestly. Oh. And Valerie says right underneath Miss Helly, it says, I agree people are way too sensitive about things these days. So. Yes, yeah. you're just solidifying what Valerie is saying. Yeah, we're, we're, we, we try to be good people. We do well, everything in our we power. Are you're good people. I try. Aren't you good right. people? Stop poking me. <laughs> Stop poking me. <laughs> Well, I'm happy you watch us there, Laura. Thank you. Yeah, and thank I you mean, for joining us for this bonus stream today, too. You are not a racist if you say you are not. A racist would not say they are not racist. I think I said that right. Okay, okay. okay. You are both great. Oh, see, we're, see, I was going to say, you are. We are what? Racist are good people. <laughs> I'm Where's this confused. conversation going? <laughs> I think we're good peoples. We're good racist people? Uh, no, no I don't, I'm I don't confused. Think no, I don't think we are. You've never said anything, any, like, whatever. No. I try not to say stupid things. That's all there is to it. Yeah, everybody's here on this planet for a reason, so. I don't think we're great people. I think we're people. Yeah. We try our best to... Uh, to do good. Yeah, yeah. That, and that's basically all that we can expect from each other. Heather, I'm not racist. I hate everyone equally. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> yeah, somebody would have to allow that. <laughs> yeah, so Miss Helly, could you allow that? That's fine. It's 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 up there for question for us to see whether we want to allow it or not. I'm fine with it allowing it. And that that honestly, that statement is is very true. I'm not racist. I hate everybody equally. It's it's like the the epitome of answer of culture uh, cancel culture yeah, or answer yeah. To well, that. that's exactly what april was just saying right under you so but helly says that racist would never admit not to racist that's what i got out of it as, as in the, the statement that she was oh, okay. trying to make okay i, I agree helly that's what i got out of it the second time around uh april says i don't like cancel culture which you were bringing up earlier about the whole yeah. cancel culture grew up in a time where if you got told buck up and get on with life if we didn't win we did win we were tough you can always get what you want exactly you just got to work hard for it people just don't want to work hard for it anymore that's it right it's so hard to talk to a group of people nowadays i never knew what is a pc yeah exactly yeah well, I think I understood you there, April. Hopefully I did. Apparently, spelling is going going put the door. <laughs> Which is even worse, because I'm sure it meant out the door. <laughs> it's okay. I love you, April. It's okay. <laughs> I like someone based on what they do, not what they look like. Well, that's exactly it. What do you stand for as a person, right? I'm going to stop talking. That's what she says. <laughs> Don't stop talking. You got something to add. We appreciate your value. This is an open and honest. Yeah, this is an open, honest, and conversation. And uh, like I didn't realize those some of those things that I grew up with with my mom being who she was were racist. And I, you know, didn't think about it. You know, she had a very black African Canadian gentleman as a friend, and, and he was he was a lovely and bought, bought me my first fish tank as a birthday gift. Uh, and he was part of my life for several years. He wasn't like a major part of it. I didn't realize till after he was married. But bad mommy. 
Um, <laughs> not my problem, her problem. Uh, but that's what it, like, there was nothing that, that ever indicated to me as a kid, being younger, of who she worked for, worked with. There was lots of different nationalities, who she dated, who she brought home. I never, never would have suspected anything like that, so. And her being like four foot nothing, and this, her gentleman friend, his name is Lloyd, absolutely gorgeous man. He was like seven feet tall. Whatever. <laughs> and, and, and dark as night. Like I did, he That's literally. That's great, John. You should do it. Definitely. What was it? He's going to assemble his, his own gaming computer soon. Nice. Way to go, John Coleman. Very yeah. Nice. I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah. that's what this channel is about. It's not a political channel at all. We're about doing things um, that are real life. We try to keep everything. I hate this cardboard. I knew you were like, I've I'm been dealing with this, this for months. I'm going to go out and buy all the for hardware. One time and you're going to. <laughs> It'll be fixed very shortly kills me i deal with things for months and months and months on it and then pop gets that's in there and he's got to deal with it and he's like that's changing it's got to change that can't happen anymore i'm like <laughs> then why didn't you fix it hmm? 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 yeah definitely uh we want you guys to enjoy coming here and hanging out I don't want to be afraid of sensitive topics, but at the end of the day, we're, we are a quilting channel. Yes, this is not a quilt. I understand that. It's a quilt in, its way, in a way you are quilting it by weaving it with the, the wires. That's an interesting theory. Thank you very much. I appreciate you encouraging me on my train of wackadoodle thought. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a loving relationship. <laughs> Either that or codependent, one of the two. <laughs> Both. <laughs> we enjoy you here too there, Rita. Times I, change, I won't people say change, that I haven't grown here, in, my, uh, in my life uh, about the way I think about things. Does Pop ever quit? Quit what? I don't, I don't know. Do I stop moving? I, well, I hope not. Must keep swimming, must keep swimming. Basically. Did she devil says, I do me, you do you, boo. <laughs> Laugh out loud. <laughs> Good question, Gil, says my quilt projects. Does oh, Pop ever quit? I don't know. There are days. Oh, quilt. Quilt. Quilt, maybe? I quit? I don't know. No, 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 that's not the question. I designed several quilts, if that's what you're asking. As designed, yeah. Yeah. Gotta take the blocker out. The computer will be an integrated part of your business. Yes, Absolutely. it will. Make things go boom. I mean, <laughs> not boom. <laughs> Does he ever quilt? Okay, that's all you. <laughs> I gotta go potty. Do I ever quilt? The short answer is, I don't spend time putting quilts together, no. What I do is... Drag mom crazy! I mean, love me! That <laughs> Both of those things are still valid and not <laughs> independent of each other. I design quilts more than I do quilt. So I have an idea, and I'll talk to Laura Lynn about it, about what the quilt should look like. Yeah, Electric Quilt 8 is a great product. I wish I could get commission off of all the people we've told to buy the product. Right? <laughs> but at the end of the day, if you guys are doing better be with your quilts because you've got that, then I've done my job. I did do, a, I, I won a Jelly Roll race against Lorlin. And yes, I will continue to say that I won. And I didn't even cheat. <laughs> so I guess I can say I did do one quilt.
Yeah, I did win. And it was fun. We had a great time. Everybody did. Everybody who was there. I can sew. I know how the principles all work. I know how the machine works. All the different pieces. So what I just put in, it was a, um, I think it was a 12 hour. Yeah, I went up against uh, Laura Lynn and uh, she was uh, a little too slow. <laughs> Just a little, like quite, quite literally she was seconds behind. But she was also entertaining you guys, talking to you guys and everything else. So I really didn't win, but I did win. And that's what I'm going to say, is I did win. That was back uh, quite a while ago. Giggling in your beard. Interesting. I'm not sure where it is, Mary. I'd have to go and look. Thank you, April. I try to make designs that people are going to want to work on. Yes. Not only I've made uh, some designs, but Marcus has made designs as well. Yeah, exactly, Heli. That was a, a block of the month. There we go. Okay. I need some ice cream too. Make sure you bring me some. Yeah, uh, if you go to get ice cream, you have to get it for everybody else as well. That's the rule. Yeah, the, the strip quilt, Allison. So Lois has done all of the quilts that I've designed, which is amazing to me. It's not the right one. Hi, what are you doing? Can you get up here? Come up, say hi. Come up, say hi. There you go. whether that's is that the right one the challenger the jelly roll race uh the, one, Allison? the one that i beat you in oh uh that would be the first the yeah. first uh yeah uh, when was that when was that yeah oh that's a good question i don't remember i honestly don't remember we were just talking about my uh quilting designs oh you've done many many uh, the snowflake the royal ring uh what else is there there's a few sorry i'm just trying to yeah, i right forgot now. about the royal ring quilt well that was just recently uh donna fee yeah, donna that was Fee a won member, that one member project yeah that, that was we a member did. project yeah that was um quite honestly i think that's my favorite quilt that i've designed the royal ring the royal ring that was one of the hardest ones i had to put together 
Yeah. Yeah. And those people who are not a member of our paid section of our uh, membership channel would not know about this quilt project, but yeah. it was a pattern designed oh, by Pop. I put it together paint. and then uh, one of our paid members won it. Her name's Donna Faye. So we do that uh, every several months. We, we do that for our paid members. They get a special video, get all the videos early and so on and so forth. So anyways, enough plug about that. Yes, Miss Allison did do the snowflake. I remember that. Yeah. I did your quilt blocks as a family memory quilt, LL. Long armed it for me. Did your family memory quilt. Which one was that one? What am I confused? What am I missing there? I don't know. What are you missing? I don't I get I don't know. I did the start of one. I got the pattern for the rest. So this should be fun. Sorry, Pop, I would probably eat it all in the fight. What fight? Flight. Flight. What flight? What the flight? ice cream. Oh, ice cream. <laughs> Is it 2016? That was the block of the month one? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I did them twice. I did them one as scrappy and one as the pink and, or pink and cream or something. Was that it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, I quilted I quilt that up. Yeah, definitely. That was fun. The moment you realize. Yeah, and I quilted it up differently. I think each one was different, I believe. I quilted that up there. So, the oh, you, know, you realize what? Things are too short? Your arms aren't long enough? You forgot to cable something, and you should have done it before you. Uh oh, put everything in? Cat has explained to me that it's time to go outside. I will be lurking from the patio. <laughs> <laughs> I always enjoy doing applique. That's very fun. There's fun. actually uh, Miss Gwenny's in the channel, I believe. I thought she was. She had messaged me a uh, text message and asked what the significance of the high heel shoe was in our um, logo. And it's right here. So it's no really of significance to me besides I'm a woman and I really wish I could wear high heel shoes, but. It's more to the fact that I love it is that the she devil started a quilt that had high heel shoes as the applique part of it wasn't finished. So as the designer, I really liked that she implemented that aspect of it on the design of, yes, there is a quilt block out there with the high heel shoes. I don't wear high heel shoes. I, I slap a, a snap a ankle, a knee, a hip, a, vertebrae something wearing high heel shoes that's just not going to happen so uh but that's that's why i like it because it's also a connection with her so and that that means a lot to me yeah i i, I totally missed i'm like i didn't realize i didn't really reply to you and it was really more in connection to dishy devil who's in the chat right now who's the designer so there we go now we can go uh it hurts it wants to go somewhere else and live somewhere else because it doesn't like living with me anymore. So, um, yeah, we've had issues. We've had chats. We've had rub downs. We've had hot showers. Yeah, it's it's that you might be looking at. That's a newer one. I'm pretty sure that that jelly roll race is, I think, the Allison one. Uh, Allison and I we were like three, if not four hours that day. And you and I were about the same. And yours and I were in a 12-hour stream. Allison and I yeah. was just on a weekend stream. So, yeah, you were, you were keeping me company on a 12-hour stream. Well, that's exactly it. There we go. I, I forgot. I, I meant to answer Gwenny in a text, and I forgot. And now just kind of connecting us all here together right now just kind of brought it. So I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy I kind of missed it because now we can actually chat about it. You know what I mean? So... Yes. And I saw her quilt and I thought it was beautiful and I'm hoping it's in the box that she sent me because it's, it's still unopened in the dining room. I just didn't want to get anything on it, especially when we were dealing with the chickens. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't want things to get lost. So. We have over 1,000 videos there, Monkey Mary. 1,000 videos on YouTube. We've been at this for over six years. So, and we're close to 30,000 subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber, do it now. Now I tell you now. Or don't. Or don't. 
<laughs> I have the 16 blocks that I applique, just never put them into a quilt. You should have put it in the quilt or just put them in the box. I hope you, did you put them in the box? I hope you put them in the box because I would so put them together for you, quilt it up and send it back to you for no cost at all. Then this, ladies and gentlemen, is not the business model you want to go into. It's the heart and I love you model. <laughs> I'm sorry, the heart overrides the business all the time. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, I, need, I think I need a new knee, Lena, and I can't wait for my medical and hopefully find myself a doctor that can look at it because I really have been thinking about it and it's never, it hasn't been good since about 2017, 2018. And that's four years now. That's a sad, sad long time to have a bummed out knee. So, and it's, it's not doing me any good, especially dealing with the chickens the past six weeks uh, and tripping over my own two feet and, you know, um, just being life, you know. So I, I think I either need to start wrapping it or just wear a brace or something. So, oh, <laughs> thanks, DC Devil. Big hugs to you. You're such a sweet girl. I love you. I, I'm, I, we're we're, we're going to chat on uh, Tuesday after after stream, after Cross Stitch Tuesday. No, and I understand. And I, I, I'm happy to, you know, you just send it up my way. And I'm happy to put it together and put some um, sashing in between or whatever. But anyways, back to the focus. What are you doing, Pop? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay. I told you, you shouldn't have me on here. Why? If you want it just for you, you need to be just you. Because <laughs> no. I'm selfish. No. It's all about me, don't you know? Absolutely. <laughs> we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. No, if it wasn't for you, we wouldn't be here. Let's point the blame where it should, I mean, the, the credit where it should go. It's right over here. <laughs> I like your first statement. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. So, so what are you doing? You're strapping shit I'm just st trying stuff to down? Yeah. <gasps> You just strapping stuff down. <laughs> Jingleheimer. Jingleheimer. Sassy would be laughing out of her pants right now. It takes two, baby. Plastic carpet runner covers? Plastic runner covers. What the heck? What's that? That, like, rubber boot Point boot. is, no one of you could do it on your own. No, no, that's right. We have, we, we, we need each other for sure. I'm dripping <laughs> very much. Yeah, I hear you there. I, I hike with my stuff. Life is good. I, I hope, I hope to be that way there, Rita, because I feel like I'm missing out on things. Like I would have loved to have walked with Allison when she was here, but my knee said no. And then I could only do so, so much with Miss Gwenny here and her daughter. And even I had to like call quits on the walk with her daughter. I'm like, there's no way I can get up that incline. I'm sorry. We walked for 15 minutes already. Not sure if we're going to see the waterfall. We were headed there. Gwenny had already gone back to the car because it was, it was, it was enough. It was, and it was a warm day too. And we kept on walking for a few more minutes, 10, 10 minutes. And I'm looking at the incline. I'm like, there's not a chance. There's not a chance I'm making it up there. I'm sorry, we're gonna have to turn it back. You know, and that's sad, right? Is it? It, it, it is, really. It's okay. Right, so we've got. Well, I think we've got a computer. <gasps> no. All the cables are plugged in. It's an ungodly mess. But you know what? As long as it turns on and it works, that's all that's important. All those professional PC builders out there are just rolling over in their graves. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It's not actually that bad. So let's let's do the actual test. Let's find out whether we got it good or it's got to come apart. 
So visiting Disneyland and doing 15,000 steps isn't happening. Uh, <laughs> it probably not. Not without some sort of like some serious uh, in inner Somebody lubrication and uh, yeah, maybe like uh, what do they call it? Uh, ruck rucksack? No. What's the little three wheelers in? Um, they're like a little three wheeler bike bicycle in the in in Europe and stuff like that. That was a rucksack, a scooter. But uh, well, uh, somebody else is driving it and you're sitting in the back. Um. It's called something no. else, and I just can't think it's of it right go now. Kart. It's not yeah. Um. Uh, go go karts. <laughs> Rickshaw. rickshaw there we go rickshaw there we go thank you allison thank you thank you thank you thank you rickshaw rickshaw thank you thank you thank you. yeah the one of those and now we're cruising now i can <laughs> it's not that i don't want to it's just my knee tells me no right like we have lights do we have camera do we have camera i don't know no we don't have camera we only got me sorry sorry to disappoint no, I meant on the. Uh, oh. Do we have a monitor? Did you unplug it or something? If we get disconnected. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, Mary. Thank you, Monkey Mayor, for joining us. Sidecar. <laughs> that would be nice. I'd take a sidecar. Uh, I did 10,000 steps a number of days with Sandy and LL and never went more than 4,000 at home up to that date, but only been tracking since April. Okay, there we go. There we go. Brats. Oh, Br hi, Brad. How are you? You've been lurking. I've been that way for seven years. Doctors say I need both hips and knees. Are I'm afraid I'm going to get a knee. I have to have a, a tuck tuck. Yeah, that, that's the other. That's really, Shelly, the other word I was thinking of. I think that's why I said, you know, whatever I did. But anyways, um, I, I have a feeling I'm going to have, because it's been, it's been foobard. It's been foobard since that day in front of the chicken coop and I stepped in the snow and the snow gave out from underneath because we had some deep snow and my knee went kafluff. And that was that. And it's been that way ever since. And it, and it hurts. And for some reason, I can't seem to ever get it to heal. Hmm. Uh-oh. What are we doing, home? We got no... Uh... Oh, no, we do. No. 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 Oh, oh. It's all right. I got all excited. Got no power from the display. And I just don't want you to do it. Like, I get up in the middle of the night, and it, it just, I can't put barely any weight on it. And then, therefore, my calf muscle and my thigh muscle compensate for me not being able to put the weight on the full leg. And then I have issues with them when I'm rubbing them with 8535 in the middle of the night because they're spasming. Right, so must be something else. I can't wait to get my medical card and try and find somebody to help me. Let me tell you. That's amazing, Pop. We have uh, trouble connecting our sound bar correctly. I, I saw fans fire up. We're good. Well, the stuff's firing up. Okay. It's just not booting. I use belt wrap belt well wrap for the knees i got some one that was i forget what it was called it might be belt wrap i don't know it had a part on your knee where you stuck it to and then you wrapped it across it was to help give support to the knee and i did that for almost a year with crossing guard and i saw no difference because i've been fighting this for like four years now and when i have to like overwork it i end up walking like i'm you know need a cane or a walker or even worse, a, a, you know, a wheelchair, right? My energy drains uh, extremely quickly. <laughs> yes, yeah, happy to see you here, Brad. I don't know how long you've been lurking. Happening. Not so sure. we're starting to troubleshoot now. Oh, now we're starting to troubleshoot. Okay. Making sure everything's seated, right? 
That might be it. Oh, 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 I just heard a kerflunken. A kerflunken? A kerflunken. Is a kerflunken. I, I, said, I, think, I think I said kerflunken, but that's okay. Uh, pop chair, bite your butt yet? <laughs> pop chair, bite my butt. I don't know what you're talking about. This Pop's chair? This is Pop's chair. He's in my chair. He's in the captain's seat. I don't care, Mackenzie. Hi, y'all. Late to the party. This is different and exciting. <laughs> Pop's putting the PC together. You betcha, baby. Any questions? There we, there we go. Now we're fired up. Things are going. I smell smoke. No, I don't smell smoke. I'm just kidding. Don't ever say that. I'm just kidding. So, when I first started in this industry, Turn towards the, so they can see all these numbers and flashy colors. When I first started in this industry, there we go. Nope, more, more. Get, I get it. it. Oh, okay, all right. More. You can see. <laughs> <laughs> For the last time, when I started in this industry, I, I had an internship at a PC builder. We're good. Oh, look. Stop. <laughs> I have to watch this. It says the CPU's overheating. Uh oh. Yeah, the other fans aren't moving. They're, the fans aren't moving. So. <laughs> Hi, Sophie. Why? I got nothing else here for this baby. Did that not else? spin up. Yeah, just the, just the back one there. And even that just turned off. Kind of, sort of. <laughs> Aw, she Thanks. loved her daddy. <laughs> He's so cute, don't he? I love you. I love you so much. <laughs> Yeah, you good? Are you good? I got her some dried liver bits from a market, not too the the other market, the market the other day when Pop and I went, uh, and we didn't get to today. Uh, and she just was loving those. And I found some other peanut butter cookies at another market today too, so Does which she has been enjoying. On. She is beautiful. I love her so much. What you got? Bring a toy. Bring a toy. Come on, we'll play. We'll play with you guys' slipper. Can you show your slipper to the peoples? <gasps> the peoples want to see the slipper. Come on. Come on. Up, up. Daddy's busy. Come on. Come on up. Come on up. Over here. No, no. Daddy's busy over there. Come. Come over here. Daddy's busy. Come on. Slipper. Slipper. Bring slipper. No, Daddy has no treats. Slipper. Okay, up here, up here. Show, show people. Come on, come over here. Show people. Come on, come up here. Up, no. no. Come on, up here. No. <laughs> Why don't you want to? They can't see you over there. They can't see you over there. Come over here. Over here. Over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> you guys can see that. Yeah, they can't see you, punk. All right, go. Let's be over there with you. My Tico turns 13 on the 12th of September. Oh my goodness. Wow. They're such a big part of our lives. You know, I think 12 years. Or 13, sorry, 13 years. Like, that's a big part of our lives when you're, when you're a human. Human? Human. <laughs> she is a beautiful girl. I love her. I don't feel the pump on. No? Uh -oh. I'm not feeling anything. And these aren't spinning. Pop actually carved me a cane when I first hurt my knee. Because it was so bad, I had a brace on it as well as I used a cane. So, <clears throat> he carved me one, uh, he turned one on the lathe for me. And we, mm, it's not out here, is it? I don't think it's out here. No, I don't 
Yeah, and now I got my back operated. I wonder if I could get another dog after him, which I did think before. Yeah. Uh, did you? It, uh, f four years ago, I really injured it. I was heading towards the chicken coop to collect eggs. It was winter time. It had snowed and was really dropped in temperature, so the layer on top was nothing but ice. The or the weight layer underneath was nothing but ice, and then it had snowed quite a bit, about a foot and a foot and a bit. And when I went out to the coop, I was walking through and stepping on top of the ice, but near the coop, I was going through the snow and I went through the ice and ended up twisting my knee trying to get the chicken eggs, the chicken coop eggs at the time. So uh, that clearly not good. Cried many cries. And finally collected the eggs when got back to the house after quite a bit of time and many many tears and then it was like uh i clearly tore something twisted something messed something up for sure and it's never been the same since just when i think it's getting better i either trip over my own two feet or trip over feeding the chickens and fall into the electric fence and wrap my feet in that, which again hurts my knee or step wrong or twist wrong or fart wrong, really at this point in life. <laughs> it, it, it just, I can't seem to get it to heal and it's been a long time, so. Uh, because they just said it was an injury and just deal with it. So, but it ended up becoming more of just an injury. And I thought it had a lot to do with my weight, Miss Helly. So that was embarrassing. Ooh, that's hot. It says 51. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I don't know that that's right. I don't know if that's right. I haven't seen that. I only saw that. That's how I injured my knee. Also, I used to work at an auto auction in Wisconsin and slipped on an icy parking lot. Oh, that's never good. in Wisconsin is WI short for Wisconsin and lived there for 60 years. Oh, there you go there. Short, small, small world. Oh, that's kind of cool. I didn't see that thing. Oh, 53. Ooh. Well, it's because the pump's not running. Hmm. The pump is the coolant, right? Yep. Okay. And there, it, uh, what is your thought now on why it may not be running, I guess. Okay, I just saw a green light go on. Yeah, well, it, the computer is booting. No, but I, I just on the board, so I was, was that it's kicking in now, or no? Because it had to reach a certain temperature, or what, maybe, this? yeah, yeah. That yeah, light no. is, that is the boot light, it's oh, just okay. saying. Oh, right. sorry. Milwaukee, oh. Is there a sports clinic? I'll have to look in once, once I find a doctor, for sure. There is a like a YMCA nearby, and there's also a place to swim in Picto, which I think would be best for my knee. So, no, I have no cartilage. Left. Well, I, you can hear a grinding. Trust me, Pop has heard it. Pop has heard the knee grind, and he's like, "Is that your knee?" I'm like, "Yep." <laughs> so. And with doing all the stuff with the tur turkeys, the chickens, really wore it, really wore it out. I, I had no choice but to, to work, right? So I just had to take my step and make it G 
jagged and hobbly and whatever, but we got the chicken sorted. They got from their carrier, or from the tractor to the carrier, to the car, to the processor, so you gotta do what you gotta do, right? You can whine about it all you like to yourself, but, you know. Tomorrow is your massage day. I can't wait. My uh, muscles are so sore in my arms after doing so much crafting. <laughs> my arms are so sore from all this crafting. <laughs> Ask about chicken fat insertion. Excuse me, what, what? What are you saying there, Brad? There's no way I'm doing chicken fat nothing, nothing. Unless I'm eating that. Are we deep frying that chicken fat? <laughs> I think I'm going to take the cooler off and reseed it. Take the cooler off and reseed it. Okay. Yep. Alrighty. You don't think it got seeded properly, even with all the goop? Uh, I don't know that that's the issue. Okay. Th I'm thinking maybe that... Um, that the cooler, or the pump is not engaging because it doesn't think it's in the right orientation. Oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Pump's not engaging because Pop thinks it might be in the wrong orientation. Or that's, it thinks it might be in the wrong orientation. That's the theory I'm going with. How can I help? Nothing? Okay. Really nothing. It's just okay. a one-person thing. In my home, I use the walls. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm using everything. I'm using furniture and side tables and. <laughs> we were moving furniture 10 years ago. I took a step backwards thinking Hi, the Hallie. ramp. Thanks for coming out. Oh. Oh. Uh, okay, big hugs to you. Uh, I love you, Miss Ellie. Uh, uh, thinking the ramp was there, it wasn't. I fell off the off the truck, had to have surgery on my leg, broken to. Oh my goodness! Oh, that's a horror story, especially when you're moving. Like, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Well, big hugs to you, Miss Ellie. Thanks for the jelly roll, really simple. Yeah, I hate, I hate no problem. We had a good time. Both Pop and I and Miss Allison and I, we had a really good time with the Jelly Roll Race. I was beaten both times, I believe. <laughs> Clearly I need to up my game. <laughs> Pedal to the metal. Mm -mm -mm. So you've taken the CPU, CPU off, off. CP, CPU cooler off and are going to reseed it. Yeah, but I want to do the, I want to clean it again. You, oh, 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 okay, sorry. There, here, here, this, and these. There you go. <laughs> no LL, you need to entertain the peeps less to win. What? What? <laughs> I'm confused. You're busy entertaining the, the troops. Yeah, it was a good race, though. I mean, it was a good race, good fun, and the, and they're both quilted up and ready to go to a charity. As soon as I get involved with my local quilt guild here, and I figure out where they need to go, I will. I will label them and then send them off on their way. That's two nice welcoming gifts of the in the front door of joining a new guild. I have two quilts ready to go for charity. You know, what 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 else is going to, you know, make you welcome in a guild, I guess, unless you're giving everybody something. But I mean, to give something to charity, which most guilds do. That's why there's guilds to do crafty stuff, learning stuff and givey stuff. So I like the givey stuff, too. Jelly roll races. <laughs> yeah, so it'd be fun. It'd be fun. I'd be ha happy to know where they're going for sure. So you're adding more goop? Yeah, maybe. Coop to goop? Can you get the tip off? Oh. 
came out. <laughs> Tip. <laughs> No more goop to troop. Now you're going to put it back on? Yes. Okay. Sophie's got her ears to the outside. I don't know what she's hearing. Yeah, I got the lawn to mow tomorrow, so it'll be nice to get that all done with the, all the chicken stuff out of the way. So, get all the waters cleaned up and put away for the, the winter, and the electric fence all put away for the winter. And we're going to move the tractor off the lawn, mow it, and then move the tractor back. And hopefully, when we build the next couple, because we're still going to continue to build the next couple before spring, use them as snow barriers from the one the snow that comes across, as you guys have seen if you've ever watched a Home and Hearth uh, Living Channel in the winter. So, yeah. Thank you very much. It was a very fun project. We did that for two Saturdays in a row and just finished it yesterday. It was not quite finished finished yet. I still have to do the uh, uh, top stitching around the, around the obviously in the top of the bag. And figure if I wanted to put in a uh, pocket, so. It was a fun project. It was done via a uh, interfacing stabilizer that was two and a half by two and a half inch square grid. And then it was uh, 13 squares long and four squares wide, so 52. So 52 times four, that's for the outside, and 52 times four for the inside if you wanted to do it that way, or just big strips that were eight and a half by 27 and a half. And of course you can make your handle or you can use a nylon woven whatever whatever makes you happy it's super easy super easy really once you wrap your brain about around it and that you know they need to be mirror images of each other not necessarily the same twice doing the same thing twice you need these to be mirror images so it is different once you get that around you're you're good you're golden it's fine easy peasy Handy dandy assistant. Weekly hire out. <laughs> Isopropyl alcohol. 70% antiseptic and medicated cleanser. You saw the first part? Yeah, the last part is just as fun, uh, that's for sure. And I showed off a couple of samples of how I learned how to do the bag during the week because I was I was trying to do it one way and I seen rip that sucker th two times before I realized, wait a second, wait a moment. Like, think about this differently. It's not your typical bag. It's not your typical bag. Uh, so, Pop, can you finish your story, please? Something burning. Okay. Yes, we got sidetracked. Um, yeah, right. so when I Thank first you, started in IT, I was yes, working Mary. as... Sorry. I was working on um, as a PC builder for my internship. I remember this story. I was pregnant. You came home and told me this right now. We were, I was pregnant at the time. Remember this? Yes. Yeah, I was pregnant with Marcus. Um, and 
we put together 40, 50 PCs a day uh, between several of us. And the one, this one particular day, I ended up with a PC. I had it all assembled and was ready to go. Everything seemed to be right. And I did what <coughs> I've ultimately done here today and powered on the P went to power on the PC and white billowing smoke started coming out of the PC. Um, needless to say, I got it shut off very quickly, but in that probably 30 seconds worth of time, the PC was ruined because it, lit, it basically was smoked right out. Very simple thing to have happen when you're building a PC. You don't know what exactly is going on with uh, every component. And in this case, the, uh, the speaker in those days was just two wires onto a, a standard speaker. So when, when it got plugged in and electricity was flowing through the speaker, well, the, the speaker was actually bridged across the two poles and nobody would ever think to check this. But what happened is it created a short between the two things and melted the speaker wire all the way down to the end of it so that the jumper was actually um, was actually uh, melted. So the speaker wire, the wire straight onto the motherboard was burnt right out. But we didn't know that at the time. But the, uh, the guy who was monitoring the situation was all in a panic. We had basically set off the sprinkler system in the, in the build area. About $50,000 <laughs> worth of equipment got damaged. And uh, yeah, that was a bad day for me. So that's why we don't talk about smoke. <laughs> this was like, don't joke about that. It's serious business. We good? I got no spinning. Sure, what's going on? No. Yeah, it was very, a very bad day. I'm not feeling it turning. Yeah, it was not a not a good uh, situation. Sort of like this right now. I was just gonna say, kind of like this one right now. <laughs> Took the words out of my mouth. It is staying at forty five degrees, which is better than it was doing, but it's still awfully hot. And I'm not sure that water circulating through the pump. Yeah, the windmill bag is just done with panel pieces, which I did already. I did a, a, a learner, uh, which I sewed off yesterday during the stream, uh, to kind of wrap my brain around the bag. Because I didn't come with instructions, so I just got, was kind of like whatever was on YouTube and winging it. So it could be a bad cooler pump. Uh oh, bad cooler pump. Could be power cable, maybe.
Hold the suspense, exactly. Have you built all your home PCs? Yes. Uh, all do but you, one. Do you ever have a customer bring in a computer for shutdown due to overheating? Had one here, the GPU was caked in dust and nicotine about three inches thick, says Pratt. Yeah, I've had that. I've seen that before. <clears throat> we have a few horror stories from when we ran our own little computer business when Marcus was first, was first born. Was, I remember the call from this one lady. She said to me, um, I know I just got the, this PC like two months ago and it's been running great, fantastic. Unfortunately, my son decided to put a bologna sandwich in the CD drive and now we can't get it to open or work. So there was bologna, dried up five days old bologna in the CD drive. And then there's another guy that literally had me laughing. Out. These are ones that I remember laughing out loud, unfortunately, to the customer. The second one was the gentleman complained that his coffee holder broke. And I said, what do you mean your coffee holder broke? He goes, coffee holder that comes with this computer, it broke. And you have to think CD drives were very popular back then. That's how you read discs and played games and so on and so forth because you couldn't get it any other way. He was using the CD drive as a coffee holder. So that's where he put his coffee cup. I kid you not. Yep. Oh, there were stories. There were stories. There was one, it was so caked with Play-Doh. The CD drive was, the kid kept shoving Play-Doh in the CD drive and it would dry the Play-Doh drive dried in there. So there's no way that was working. Um, there was another one where the little girl used all her light bright Lego or light bright pieces and put them in all the slots of the PC and filled up all the holes. So there was no air allowed. So yeah, there was there there was some stories. There were some serious funny and sad <laughs> stories. <laughs> oh, thank you, Pat and G. Appreciate that. It's 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 good fun. Once I get it uh, top stitched and stuff, I'll show it off really good next weekend for the on the live stream. So we got a couple of projects that Miss Allison has gifted to the quilt shop, so we're gonna probably conquer one of those for the next couple weeks, so we can keep it nice and easy while pops away. Except for when Munchkin and I want to do something. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on with this. I'm gonna have to do some troubleshooting. Call. Uh, uh oh. NZXT and see what's going on Aww. why the CPU cooler is not working it's all plugged in correctly hmm. I can't see you yeah so we may have to call it at this another another failed PC stream build it's probably something super easy and we're just not thinking about it no it's not like it's <laughs> Suzanne. Hey, Steph, how you doing? We're just about, I think we're just about to say goodbye. Pop's having, uh, we're, he's going to have to make a phone call to get something to do with the CPU. So, unfortunately, it's not working the way we anticipated right now. It's been uh, four hours, so. Yeah. Well, troubleshooting PCs while streaming. Not no, fun. it's stressful. It definitely is. Okay. Does anybody have any questions before we say goodbye? Because we're just going to cut it here until we can figure out what's going on. There's no point in, like, dwindling, so. Got any questions for Pop before we say goodbye? And hopefully we can uh, I mean, it's working. It. It's just the CPU cooler. That's yeah, the, the CPU only thing. cooler's not working. If I have to buy a new CPU cooler, then so be it. Oh, watch on repeat. Go with laptop. Yeah, goodbye. <laughs> sorry, Steph. Big hugs to you. Yeah, sorry, Steph. It's just oh. not working. I don't know why. Oh, oh boy. Maybe we can find an answer for tomorrow. Tomorrow's a holiday here, so you just never know. I wonder if I throw all these onto the motherboard. Are we good? So, we're going to say goodbye. Thanks for coming out. Can I come and fix your computer, Patty? I think probably it's just old. Your power is out. That's probably not going to help fix the PC. Okay. Trouble shot.
not shoot it. <laughs> so have a great uh, rest of your weekend, and we'll see you on Tuesday, or at least well, then we'll see you on Tuesday. Yep. I'll be working. Okay. Have fun.